we live? Uh, we live? Seems like we are. Welcome back. Hope you all had a nice uh, holiday break. And was able to stay safe. Let's figure out where we we're up to. Uh, I did a couple of things off stream, like we've got uh, most of the old Omni smelters being very slowly uh, automatically deconstructed, brought back to the trash pickup, taken back to the old main bus base. Uh, that's going to take a while, to say the least, but it is happening. Um, I also added a couple of... what? Apparently my inventory is a bit overfilled. I think I was done building this stuff, actually, so let's get rid of this for now. Um, yeah, I added a couple of intermediate products to production in the rail network. I still need to deliver a whole lot of productivity modules over here. I think it's done other than that. Oh, and some chemical plants actually. One, two, three, eleven, maybe thirty or so. I was wondering if you're going to go live tonight. I miss your soothing voice. <laughs> Thank you, Dark Sky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, it seems I'm already carrying the chemical plants. Hey, Veldak. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I also added a production area for artillery shells, uh, much quicker production of artillery shells than previously. How's your Christmas? Well, uh, let's see. I had to work over the Christmas break and we kind of postponed our Christmas visits because it's getting less safe daily over here unfortunately. So that's uh, that's deferred at least until my mum gets a booster shot, I think. That sucks. Yeah, it happens. Uh, I made one of these big old build things trains, but uh, unfortunately I didn't realize with the double header trains it will come back in here facing the wrong way. So far the only things I've come up with, were you able to video chat at least? Yeah, no big deal there. Okay, are we leaving this here for now? Probably. Yep, same here. I've got my booster booked early Jan. Have no plans to do anything until that's sorted. Yep. A Royal PS2K. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And uh, Fatboy Not So Slim. Good to see you again also. I should have checked. Um, I think we're producing productivity modules significantly faster now, but since I got, uh, I added, uh, I added a red circuit drop-off station to supply the main bus base. It's only one blue belt, but it seems to be more than enough for this base. So now it's bottlenecking on, uh, blue circuits. How many blue circuits do we actually need for each productivity module? Uh, let's see. That is five plus three, 
eight. Uh, it's not as bad as I it might have been, but still, it's going to take a while at this rate. Considering the sheer number of productivity modules I need to drop right now. I work from home, so it's nice I don't have to leave unless I need to. Yeah. Um, it's going to cost me significantly more, but I'm seriously considering getting my groceries uh, delivered. Um, I risked it because I really needed to uh, Christmas Eve. Uh, and cases are literally doubling here every day. And still there's like a good several people wherever you go not wearing masks or not just not distancing but not getting out of the way of other people at all literally making it impossible to distance um suffice to say i'll be very glad i'm working from home and i'll be staying away uh, staying home as much as i can apart from like going to the park to get a bit of exercise I did energy one, two, three, currently researching four. I'll need to add more blank data card makers. That's my bottleneck. How, you, you must have seen more of, uh, well, obviously, like you've, you've got a better picture of the totality. How far do you think you are through space exploration, Veldak? Blue circuits are the bottleneck, it looks like. When do you start working from home? Oh, I already am. Yeah. Um, the thing I'm thinking about is, it's going to be a lot more expensive, uh, but I might even start getting my groceries delivered. Um, at least until I can get my booster. Uh, let's see. I should probably... What I really need is blue circuits delivered here so we can get productivity modules. Um... I think uh, even the one machine without a beacon would be enough if we're not bottlenecking on resources to keep up with everything I'm building. But it was hard enough finding somewhere to deliver the uh, red circuits. I guess I could use the same stop for blue circuits and just squeeze one belt in through here somewhere. All right, let's head back. I wish I could get groceries delivered. Yeah. Do you plan on fixing the bus? Uh, no, I, not really. I, I, this happens like every single playthrough, but I want to get away from using this bus, but it takes forever. Um, I do have a pretty big mall over here. Um, we haven't used like half of these train stops just yet um we can deliver like we can pretty easily fit like eight different types of items at each of these train stops um i think i calculated if if i really wanted to be aggressive with it i could drop off 80 different things uh from these train stops here to deliver to the mall um, we've got small train pickup. Oh yeah, I'm kind of happy with this one. Uh, what? What? Okay, somehow this small train ended up with stone in it, and therefore... I was gonna say I, I designed a nice, uh, system to read from the entire logistic network, tell it, tell LTN what it's got. And the only downside is items have to be delivered here after the train arrives and asks for something. But, um, somehow the train arrived with stone in it. And for whatever reason, LTN puts a signal here of what the train already had in it. And now we're just putting more stone in. Uh, that's not great. Back to the depot with you. The only way I could remove that is if I did the circuit that gives the maximum 
out of a series of signals, um, I would be able to remove the very small amount of stone from that signal and guess that the larger signal is what the train is actually asking for. But that would be like, I think it's nine more combinators. Can put it on the Discord. Do you have a blueprint for them all? Uh, yes, yes, I do. I don't remember where I put it, but I'll definitely upload it. Um, yeah, see, this time it's actually just outputting what the train wants, so this is working just fine. Um, this, uh, this. Uh, request a chest here gets its requests set to whatever comes through this. We also set the filters uh, whitelist for this uh, stack filter inserter. Anything that uh, this uh, only works when there's no train here so once we're done we get rid of that stuff but unless we run out of space here we keep things that trains have recently asked for and like overflow from recent trains we keep them here uh, so that might save some time and this just sets the filters and stack size for what goes in the train uh, over here we have a single cargo wagon drop off no big deal there I'm quite happy with the way I was able to fit those stations in um but yeah, it's obviously in terms of setting all the recipes, it's a little bit of a work in progress. Uh, but other than that, by all means, let's throw it on the Discord. Uh, train stop names, I guess. Export to string and see if the blueprint bot falls over this time. How do they keep getting stone in them? Uh, I don't know in this instance, but the reason we had that problem just here was because the train already had stone in it. Um, I've said this before, but I really wish I could make it so that when trains go back to the depot in LTN, instead of five seconds of inactivity, they have a wait condition that says it has to have empty cargo inventory before it goes to pick something up. Um, but unfortunately, that's not an option. We do have all of the depot stops emptying the trains just in case they get something in them that shouldn't be there. But, uh, and, and we haven't been like sending a whole lot of trains back to the depot so it gets clogged recently either. So I'm not sure what's going on there. We've got a lot of stuff in place to make sure that doesn't happen. I updated the, uh, oh, I just remembered. I thought that sounded a bit quiet. That's my volume level for uh, for if I manage to for for if I play Factorio on my break or something, because I have to have the volume very high for work. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I did uh set up these. Why do you have no fuel? Um, that's a bit concerning. I did set up these depots to prioritize putting in nuclear fuel if they have it. So the way we do that is, uh, first of all, we've got a set filters blacklist to limit what we put in the chests for each resource. Then we say, uh... This is just to simplify it down to one arithmetic combinator. Nuclear fuel times negative 480 
uh, output as solid rocket fuel. So if there's one uh, nuclear fuel in the chest, it'll output negative 480 solid rocket fuel. Uh, set the filters whitelist on... Is that a green wire? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we set filters whitelist, read what's in the chest from the filter inserter. And if there's any nuclear fuel, we give it a big negative number for solid rocket fuel. Um, and that effectively removes the uh, filter. Now, I'm a bit concerned that I'm not seeing nuclear fuel over there right now. There's definitely plenty right here. Uh, let's see. Ride stack threshold 40. There's 48 in each of these chests. Train length 3. Combinator is on. So, why? There's nothing in these chests. Request stack threshold 40. Asking, oh, well, that would help. Don't know why I had that uh, combinator turned off. Probably because I was editing it at the time. Also, we should probably ask for some rocket fuel as a backup. That's a good idea. Nope, that was an easy fix. Where's the last one? I wonder why I had it turned off. Alright, so probably this one... Uh, no, this one probably already has a train coming. Fantastic. On its way to pick up the fuel? Wait, what? What? Where are you going? Oh, you do have fuel. I just had alt mode switched off. Fantastic. Alright. Wait, what was the maybe 20% for? Oh, 20 per Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20%, jeez. I haven't missed anything else, have I? No, I think we're good. Okay. Uh, I should put some radars down here as well, so I can always see this. But mainly we need a whole lot of productivity modules. Um, that's three per chemical plant, four for each of these. So we literally need, need hundreds and hundreds. Um, I might, as a quick stopgap, go and grab some blue circuits. I might just hijack one of the trash trains to do that. Can you come home for now, please? Where is it? And I'm just going to turn this off for now because I'm going to add a temp stop that's going to go... Oh, that's not a temp stop. How about this? No! It add... Ugh, that's annoying. Okay, so even if I make it not automatic, the temp stop is immediately added, and it goes automatic. Um, can't really speed this up. I could put it in my trash slots, but the bots would have to get here. It's not going to take too much longer. And 
one more stack. Okay. Temp stop right about here. That's not a temp stop. Wait until full cargo and then return to base. And I guess I didn't need to ride with it. So that'll bring a whole lot of blue circuits back to the logistic network. Um, those are going to be brought back to our buffer chests. And that should get us our productivity modules pretty quickly. Let's check on our most recent planet. They are still filling out the landfill. How is that even possible? Are they getting any landfill? Everything else is... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Everything else is still self-sufficient though, right? Oh yeah. That's looking pretty good. How much fuel do we have? 748. Fantastic. And ammo is backed up all the way here. Fantastic. I still see these machines are working, so they're not clogged up later on. Nice. But how is it taking this long to get a bit more landfill? Can we pick up some more rocks? Not really. Trees slash rocks. Whitelist. I guess I could extend the robo network somewhere. It's not going to make that much of a difference. Oh, there's a lot of rocks here. But, yeah. It's going to take a lot longer than I thought it would just to get that much stone. Assuming I'm waiting till it gets to the end of the belt to make the, uh... And fill. On the other hand, we don't actually need another nuclear plant here. So, I guess there's no point in worrying about it. Oh yeah, I also made production... Oh, I, I covered that already. So that's batteries. Uh, pretty straightforward, except for, you know, fitting it together with the best possible ratio that you can manage. Um, limited by belts, unless you want to do a bot build, etc. Uh, because beacons make things take up so much less space um, to consume enough uh, to bottleneck on belts, I decided to produce a few things in this block down here. First, we've got exactly eight belts of iron plate uh, making cogs. Oh, wait, that's 288. Is it this one? Uh, 360 is 8 belts of iron plate. This alone can consume 348. Kind of prioritizing the cogs. Um, found an 8 to 8 balancer that happens to do lane balancing, so that's nice. Cogs here, uh, single cylinder engines, and then going into a small electric, multi-cylinder engine, and just having pickups for all of them down the bottom. 
Um, I also converted the uh, uh, the pickups for the multi pickups for the resources from the pulverizers to the simpler, ever so slightly slower and more reliable. Um, just use one inserter with a stack size of one per cargo wagon once there's a small enough number. Very reliable indeed. Haven't had any problems with it yet, but there's always time. Uh, blue circuits. Yeah, the big electric motor and battery builds are very, very straightforward, of course. It's really just a matter of fitting it together and seeing how much you can fit, depending on the limitations of the inputs. Uh, blue circuits, we've got... I think this is exactly four blue belts of green circuits, just here alone. Yep. And then we've got green circuit drop-off on this side as well. Uh, with the plastic. What are we... You're kidding. 96,000. That should only be three train loads of green circuits that it's asking for over here. What's going on? Um, same thing on this side. 48 times uh, 24 times 200. There's room for 230,400 green circuits in these chests. And we are asking for 96,000. 32,000 in a train load. We should only be getting halfway at worst to filling this up. And yet, here we are. I don't see why this one's happened. Let's just, uh... I was going to send it to the main bus, but maybe that one's full as well. Not even close. There is a train on the way, but that's probably fine. Could you please go here? Uh, that, that would mess up the schedule, but as soon as it gets back to the depot... Oh! It's got the wrong depot name there. Well, that doesn't help. Uh, let's see. You as well. And then... I suppose I'd better catch the other train. I need to send them back to the new depot. It's this one. I changed the name of all the old depots to the new name, which is literally just that symbol. Um, but I guess I did it at the wrong time for some trains. Which means... Who knows how many trains are stuck trying to get to the old depots. Also, this is... F uh, I think I know what happened. Because it doesn't get back to an LTN depot, it's been going round in circles doing this like a vanilla train. Oh, that's not good. Well, it's going to be more than a few of these to sort out. Once this one gets back to the depot, 
it's going to get emptied and it's going to get its schedule reset. If I do too many of these at once, the system that empties the trains and ha delivers it uh, back to the trash trains, back to the main bus, um, it's going to get overwhelmed and some of these are going to get blocked. And because we can't get an empty cargo condition here, some of these are going to meet the condition of five seconds of inactivity, and then they're going to go pick something up while they've still got stuff in their cargo wagons. So I'm going to have to do these. On the other hand, if I do them all at once, um, theoretically they should all go to different stops. But yeah, this isn't good. I would be confused on just icons. Why just an icon and no name? Um, because depot is all there is to it. And it, it's a lot easier to read on the map. Um, the words, as you can see, if I scroll out to where we've got some, some text uh, train station names, especially when I put stations next to each other like this, um, it becomes a lot harder to see what's going on. Even here, where all I'm using is a couple of icons, uh, it's a, like if I zoom out just a little bit, they're overlapping each other. So yeah, this train is now... It's actually already been given a schedule, so if it fails to meet the five seconds of... Once it does meet the condition of five seconds of inactivity, even if it's not actually empty, it's going to go try to pick up stone, and things are going to get messy. Uh, but yeah. So that's... wait. What happened? What? Why am I... what? Where is this... Um... I think the train's heading back to where we found it st oh my goodness, it's just... O okay. O o okay. Could you please just go to a depot? I'm really quite pleased with this depot design. The trains have... I I've never seen the trains get in and out of the depots so easily. Okay, so now you get your five seconds of inactivity condition. Oh, nope, 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 nope. That's a problem. Um, I seem to have missed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Except it's nine stops on each side. Yeah. I, I seem to have missed uh, the minor detail of emptying these trains on the very outsides. Whoops. So this is the trash stop, right? Yeah. Let's just do that one there. And then... We could probably just copy paste this actually. And now we're missing a substation. That's okay. Still able to keep it nice and neat. That so far so easy. Let's do the other side. This is... Oh, this is the trash pickup as well. Fantastic. Because I made it, like, radially symmetrical. Sort of. In, in two directions. Nice. Okay, so let's copy-paste you. And this goes here. This goes here. Change this one. And we're good. Let me just double check that this will go on the correct side. Yes, good. Fantastic. 
All right, we need to copy this to our other depots. And I need to update that blueprint. Oh, and don't forget to pick that up as well. What are we putting pipes down for? Oh, did I copy paste it from over here? Yeah, I did. Is that all of them? And down this way. Don't need no pipes. This goes here. And this goes here. And over to the other side. Let's just double check I finished this one as well. Yeah, we're good. Alright, fantastic. Now I just need to find all these stuck trains. And hope we don't overwhelm the whole system by sending too many of them back all at once. Uh, this looks like an unrelated problem, I'm not sure. Actually, no, it could be the same problem. No, it's got the regular... It's got the updated depot stop. How did this end up so imbalanced? It's literally got a balanced loader here. That doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, did I end up somehow removing? I, th I think I ended up removing the balanced loader. No, it's not a balanced loader. It's just a balanced unloader up here. Okay. Well. I guess just go back to the depot for now. Might have to have a think about that one. A hey, King Fno. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the raid. Well, gamers, thank you very much again for the sub. Five months, wow. Well. Welcome back. Thank you. How was your stream? Hello, Cream Pie Analysis. Analysis? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so let's see. I guess we need to keep finding trains that are stuck. There shouldn't be too many of them. But every train that's sitting stationary somewhere is suspect now. Yeah, that's one of them. Good stuff, finally building the silos for my 11k base. Wow. And then crossing my fingers, it doesn't completely implode. Nice. Depot. Who else? What is this flashing for? Looks like it's fine. Let's turn this off for now. That's a trash train. These two are picking up. They're probably fine. They are not fine. Depot. And 
you're totally fine. Good. Fantastic. You are not fine. Off you go. Oh, what are my bots doing? Wait, what? Why? Oh, is this... Okay, never mind. That's sort of correct, actually. I don't know how we ended up with, like, a couple of random chests here marked for deconstruction. Um, but we did. Crossing my fingers. Oh, yeah. That it does imp... Oh, crossing my fingers that it does implode? Wow. I see how it is. It's all about entertainment. Uh... I guess it's quicker to just click on them. Hopefully that's all of them. Wait, is it possible to search trains by... Yeah, here we go. Depot. Wait, what? I changed the names of these, but... But these guys all still have the old depot schedule. Interesting. Okay. Mm, here we go. Depot. Copy, paste, 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 paste. And then... There's, like, three remaining. Let's just send them all back to the new depot. What are you up to right now? Emptying... Mm. Kind of want to let it finish. And then if I send it back to regular depot, its schedule should reset. And then this one. What are you trying to do? Why is that called variety pickup? Well, whatever the case. Wait, why was it sent to Solids Pickup and Variety Pickup? And it's trying to unload here. And this station only has a provide threshold? That's a bit weird. Whatever the case. Uh, back to the regular depot you go. Are you able to leave? You are not able to leave. Okay, that one will require manual intervention. Uh, was I heading over here somewhere? I don't really remember. What was I coming over here for? Did we get the blue circuits over here? Doesn't look like it. What happened to our... Don't tell me we've consumed them already. Surely not. Alright, I'll go manually pick up some blue circuits and dump them into the module production. And then we'll go do something about that train. Oh, I can hold all of these. Um, why don't I just do that? And back to base. That train is so out there and just lost. Yeah. Good to see you back. Hate to raid and run, but it's time for bed. No worries. Have a good one, King Fnab. Raid and run. More or less standard operating procedure, to be honest. Unless you have a short stream or something. Alright. Uh, what else we got? How are you? Yeah, pretty good. Decent. Some ladies just want to see the world burn. 
all about that content, and you hope King has a nuke in his hand. Cheers, take care, King. Salandril, welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Dark Sky, <laughs> thanks for the yay. Did I drop all of these uh, chemical plants? Yeah, I did. Let's put that request back down to one stack. And we are causing the bots to halo. Whoops. It's probably fine. Oh, this... This is where the blue circuits were going. I, I completely forgot about the cargo rocket requesting uh, 50,000 blue circuits. Minor detail. Uh, so yeah, we really need a train to drop off here until we go and build a dedicated uh, rail network thing for these rockets. Um, just thinking about where I could put it as we squeeze even more spaghetti in here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I really do think this might be our best bet. Okay, are we empty? Pretty close. Um, I would like to... So are they just not... Oh, because these are buffer chests and these are requester chests, so these are a hard, higher priority. Hmm. I would like to steal some of these for now, though. How about we just drop this down to 40k and we'll make like 4,000 of these available immediately. And we'll wait till we get some some more blue circuits in here before we bump it back up to 50k. Also, uh, I'd kind of like to add... Oh, I think I did already. Maybe I didn't add it to this one. I wanted to add a condition so that... Instead of launch on cargo full, it's launch on cargo full with green signal. Because if we have um, 49,901 blue circuits in here, it will consider that to be cargo full. Uh, as soon as there isn't any more inventory space. So it'll launch uh, miss uh, missing most of a stack. I think... This is the version where we actually updated that. So, yeah, here it is. It's pretty straightforward. Basically, if there are no requests uh, being set for these chests, we know that the cargo rocket is ready to launch. Um, so we output green signal directly to here. Uh, can I easily patch this? Let's see. I'm not going to paste this over. I'm going to remove the requests there. But yeah, I literally just need to put uh, this. This right here. Green wire goes here. Red wire goes here, and because we're not requesting anything right now, it's outputting green signal. Uh, what? Don't tell me. Wait, which one is launching? Oh, it's that one. Okay. Don't scare me like that. Uh, launch on... 
cargo full and green signal. And where are we going again? Nalvis Orbit PU. I'm pretty sure I set this up properly already. Nalvis Orbit PU. And it's not going to launch because there's already 50,000 blue circuits here. Which is all the more reason we can quote-unquote steal some blue circuits from this for now. Oh wow, that is just already saturated, huh? Okay. Uh, it's still going to take a minute at this rate. Maybe I should build another module assembly production area. Um, wait, first things first, before I forget. We're going to make this a blue circuit drop-off as well. Which means we're going to need filter inserters here. Oh, I, uh, I discovered something surprising the other day. With the mod picker, do uh, picker dollies that lets you move things around like so. Uh, it turns out if you point it at a tree, it does not belong to your force. Okay, maybe I did it through the navigation view. Yes, indeed. Uh, turns out I can move trees around if I use the navigation view and pick a dollies. So now we can redecorate with trees. That's nice. Blue circuits. I'm not going to worry too much about saving a few half-dead trees. Um... Let's see, we need a balanced, combinatorless balanced unloader. It's only going to need to be one belt, so this should be fine. Whoops. Like so. And... I guess I'll move this. Doesn't matter which side this one is. And then... Can I spaghetti this through here? Not really. If I do belt weaving, I can spaghetti it this way. Not quite. But yes, I can actually. Yeah, this is sin. Okay. Does that actually... That's going to be too far, isn't it? Just barely. I could move the... Uh, the RoboPod back a bit. Where are we going? All the way down here somehow. Or I could just put it into the robot, robot network already.
I think a, another launch already. Wow. Wait, these launches will stop if this thing is... If, if rocket result inventory is full, right? Well, it doesn't look like that's going to happen anyway. Let's just put a stack inserter here. Make sure. Yeah, that was never going to happen anyway. Okay, regardless... Uh... Maybe I'll belt it down here? Mm. I just want to... Even if I do put it into the logistic network, I just want to make as few bot jobs as possible here. And give them as short a distance as possible. I think bringing them down to this is probably the best way to do that. So, like so. Don't think I can get through there. There we go. And then we'll just put these in some passive providers. Okay. We need to request some blue circuits. Oops. Stack threshold 160. And power it up. Why doesn't that... Oh, it's just the way the power poles are. I think if we remove this one... Yeah. That looks a bit neater. Can we move this over one? Definitely. Move over trees. There you go. Fantastic. So that'll probably be blue circuits being picked up. Fantastic. And... Once we get those delivered over here, our blue circuit woes for the main base, uh, main bus base, uh, should be over. I do want to actually see it work. Oh, there we go. Good thing I didn't assume. I kind of do want to see it work just to make sure. The train should be here pretty soon. Okay. And here it comes. All the way down to here. And into the passive providers. 
right next to... We can actually finish this now. And we can also test this, which is working correctly. Fantastic. Although it will create a bunch of bot jobs bringing this stuff over here right now. Whoops. It's probably fine. Yeah, that's going to be filled pretty quickly, actually. And there goes yet another launch. I'm surprised with how often these launches are happening. Uh, that we're not seeing the satellite telemetry backing up. But then again, we are putting it in a cargo rocket. Which, yeah... That would be 25,000 to fill up one of those. I don't think it's even launched yet. But once it does fill up with 25k... Oh my goodness. I think I forgot to turn around some... Underground... Belts. No? Uh-oh. I thought... My first thought when I saw this stopped was I forgot to turn around some underground belts when I was doing maintenance on this. But it might just be full. Well, mostly full. There, I did see some gaps over this way. Um... I could put splitters here and here, and that would allow items to get to these belts. Um, what I might do first is this. If I had the bots deliver splitters over here, they would have taken items off the belt. There's already a couple of items that are slightly incorrect on the count because I messed up while I was putting this uh, long arm inserter here. But that one's no big deal, but I don't want to make it even worse. But yeah, I don't think this is going to be good enough. I may have just allowed too many items to be put on the belt. Let's stop putting coal on for now. Drop that to 500. Uh, I think we're too late. Hmm. How about... I think we just need to lower the amount of stuff that can get put on the belt. And then do things like this to get a bit of motion going so that some things will get picked up. The next thing I see adding items to the belt, I might lower the limit for that as well. Actually, why don't I do this for the moment? I keep hearing a machine doing its thing over here. Um, wait, most of this is science. Oh my goodness. Uh, did we back up on... Oh, wow. Okay. Um, we... We need to... We need to consume the regular science. Also... I think I had an... Yeah, I, I put no condition over here on putting science onto the belt. That's why this has happened. <laughs> because I never thought of science as something that would back up just from this, like, slow sushi system. Um, but 
because of, because we need to get new materials to do new types of science, um, we haven't really been consuming any for quite a while. Uh, yeah. Okay, so first thing we need to do here is limit that to like, I don't know, call it a hundred. And then we need to put a bunch of science into storage. This will be, this should get the job done for now. And we'll deal with that later. I, if you had told me um, at some point this sushi belt is going to be completely backed up, and I had to guess why, the last thing I would have ever guessed is we produced too much, uh, too many rocket science. Okay, the second last thing I would ever have guessed is we produced too many rocket science packs. Uh, the first thing I would have uh, never have guessed is we produced too many uh, astronomic science packs. Or these as well, but we don't have the materials to produce these just yet. Okay, so if we now get the belt moving... We'll start taking things off here, putting them in here, and then that should be enough to create enough space to so that the motion will just perpetuate itself. How many do we have? Uh, over 4.4 thousand rocket science packs on the sushi belt right now. Well, there's your problem. Uh, yeah. Apart from scrap, which just has to go somewhere, um, yeah, don't put, don't forget to put a limit on things going onto the sushi belt, even if you can't, I didn't forget here with the uh, astronomic science packs even though they're much slower than rocket science packs. Well, even if it took a long time... Oh, and you're taking a while too because you can't output. Okay, I see. Um, even if it took a long time, the fact that we can accidentally produce 4.4k uh, 4 rocket science packs. Uh, that's not too bad. Alright, how is our blue circuits looking now? Beautiful. How's our uh, productivity modules? We have 21. And possibly some over here as well. 211. Fantastic. Uh... Let's assume that we need all of these. Uh, 40 times 5 times 4 is 800. And up here we need what is that, one, three, seven rows like this. Uh, 44 times 3 times 7, 924. That's a lot. Okay. I don't see how we could fit a beacon to set up for this over here, but there's room to do it down this way. Let's see. I could remove the clock. It hasn't, it's not really doing anything, or we could just move it somewhere else. Although I would be picking up these robopods if I do that. Uh, let's see what we can squeeze in here. So first we need... is this ratio actually? I doubt it. Yeah, no. 
Plus we need some of these, and then some of these, and then some of these. And we want to beacon them this time. Looks like we just need two of these to keep up with one of these. Why are my bots being weird? Do I have some random bots flying around somewhere? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Uh... So that'll easily keep up with that. One point nine six nine per second. We need to produce a little bit under a multiple of two per second for these. Three point nine three? Three to two? Let's see. Three point four to three point one eight seven. That's not too bad. And then how many uh, small ones do we need? Uh, ten point three one per second. Ten point five per second. Four. Two to three to four. That's kind of neat. Can we lay it out in a way that looks neat with beacons? Well, hopefully just one beacon, but I doubt it. We could normally do eight, maybe ten machines around one beacon. This is this is nine, so yeah, we should be able to. Uh, might not build it here, though. Let's see. So four of these... Three of these. And two of these. Not sure exactly what that's going to look like with the belts and stuff, but I'll leave that there for a reference for the moment. Bots are being very slow. Okay, don't forget to power this so that rate calculator knows what we get. That is a very close ratio. And wait, now it thinks, did we not have the speed modules here? Oh, this was, yeah, those weren't all under a beacon. Whoops. Okay, H how close are we now? Uh, 11.81 as opposed to 10.5. The productivity twos are actually perfect. All of these are under a beacon. Why is bot so slow with this? 13 to 11, sure. But can we actually make these work? Probably. So if we have all the inputs and outputs on the outside, maybe? Okay, so green and red circuits like so. Output should be slow enough for a long arm inserter. 2.6 per second. Yeah, with a stack size of 2, that should be okay. Wait, what? Oh, there's five of them. Yeah. 
Uh, how fast is the input? 13 green circuits per second. Might need double stack inserters. Wait a sec. That's going to be a lot more than half a belt for green, isn't it? You could do a sushi belt with this. Uh, a sushi belt's definitely going to be too slow. Um, if we want to beacon all of this up. So let's see. Just for five of these, we need two belts of green circuits, half a belt of red. Um, we could maybe space these out a bit. Yeah, I think we're going to have to. Hmm. It'd be nice if I could somehow set this up to direct insert. Not sure how feasible that is. But uh, we can definitely have these go here. Uh, Medexus, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How f uh, I can't make a line of five of these. It's going to have to be sort of like that. Where is this one going to have its output? And how are we going to get... Uh, give me the power. Half a belt of red, two belts, or like one and a half belts of green. I guess we could actually do one and a half belts of green. I mean, we could we could like split these and have multiple belts coming in. You could do underground to give you more space, maybe. Your junk data process is not working. Junk data process. Oh, was that uh, over here? It wasn't working because it had no room to output. Where is it? Yeah, this one. Uh, it's working now. It was just because the belt wasn't in motion and had no gaps in it. SE, SE, or RL. I'll do SE. Hey, the West dude. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The proper solution is belt weaving, blue for circuits, red for modules. Proper. Uh, let's see. If we have... Is it going to be enough if I have, like... Yeah, I think you're right, honestly. Because we can't have, like, stack long arm inserters. It's not going to... If I have, like three lanes of green and one red here, we're not going to be putting the greens in fast enough. So... Let's see. We don't necessarily have to do weaving. We can have two blues. And then... Like so. This could be red and green, and this could be green. And then something similar over here, but it'll be more straightforward, I guess. Let's just do it like that. And then... Well, I'm not sure exactly what this is going to look like, but... 
just tentatively. So that's green, 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 red for the lanes. And then we need red and blue over here. Red, just blue over here. Okay. Red and blue. That's actually really slow. Less than half a belt for each. No worries whatsoever. Um, a total of like 20... Uh, Seven, about eight items per second from this belt. And we need the modules. If I do it like that, I'll have to do a long arm over here to get these over here. I can't stretch it out anymore, I don't think. Or I could do long arms for the inserts of... Well, since we're going to be inserting three and outputting one, I think I should use the long arms for the output. And then... This goes here. I think we just need regular inserters for these ones. There's not going to be one spot I can put a substation, right? Unless... No, there isn't. Okay. And this also requires batteries and blue circuits. How many blue circuits do we need, period? Only 10.5 per second. Uh, let's maybe steal them from here, but then I want to put blue circuits and batteries on this belt. Let's not do that. Also, I think this was like this, so just as well I looked. I would have left a little mistake over there. Uh, actually, we're already using just half a belt for the productivity twos, so we could put either blue circuits or batteries here. If we put batteries here, we could use this belt for the blue circuits down this way. Although there would be um, red circuits flowing down here that don't need to. Either way. And then that's basically it. Can we fit that over here? Not even close. I'm tempted to just put it here, honestly. Yeah, why not? Although it is going to be... It's going to be a little bit of a pain either way. I think. Alright. So this one... Is going to be nothing but green. I think I should probably... Make sure this is blue belt all the way back up. Uh, where's my upgrade? There it is. And then this one is half green, half red. Uh, this one is going to be red and blue. Is there a elegant way to do that? Probably.
but I'm not sure what it is. That'd do it. Pretty sure a red belt is enough for all of this. No, it's not. All right. Upgrade planner to the rescue. And then this is still only blue. I don't think we need 30 per second processing units. That's fine. Wait, what? No, no, no. Um, this goes here. And this goes here. And batteries go here. And I sort of didn't leave room for the output, but that's okay. Wait, don't tell me I didn't leave room for the input. Because we need three inputs for this, don't we? Yeah. Um, it's fine. Totally fine. So that one has to be batteries, I guess. I could just take some blue circuits off of here and put it here. I do wish, I, I think I've said this before, but I wish we could have a, a filtered splitter that wasn't strict. It's just that only blues are allowed to go th this way, but uh, blues as well as other things can go this way. Um, but that's no big deal. Let's just add a splitter over here. Oh. Bring it up this way. That's not quite right. And then that just leaves batteries which we've got right here. How many batteries do we need? Only 1.3 per second? That's surprising. Alright, so that should vastly increase our production rate of Productivity modules. And we should see it keeping up so that these two machines never stop. Oh, I saw that one stop. Are the fast inserters too slow? Yeah, they are. There we go. And that will get us our... What is it, like 1500 productivity modules that we need? to finish those builds. 
I think this is around the wrong way. No, it's not. Okay, so we got our... Oh, I haven't actually explained how this works yet. Um, I went back to one of my old designs for filling multiple things into a cargo wagon, whereby we deal with the excess by having a set filter, regular filter inserted, stack size of one taking things out. But I realized we don't actually have to have an empty... Um, a, a completely empty inventory slot to deal with excess items. All we have to do is limit all of these items to however many stacks we want to put in minus one item. So that's why all of these have like 50, 50, 50, 50, 49. So that if we try to insert like 12 uh, stack inserters, uh, once this hits, once this stack hits 50, this filter inserter is going to remove these items one by one until the stack inserter no longer has, uh, stack inserters in its hand. Why can I only put one of these here at a time? Well, you get the idea. What I didn't think of when I built this was um, that the train would come back facing the wrong way. So what I need to do is either not have the filters and limit things based on the entire train, which might mess up what we're doing here with the uh, limited stack sizes so that we can remove excess items or just design the filters and what goes into the train to be symmetrical. Uh, I don't really feel like doing that, so what I've been doing is just after the train comes back, I give it a temp stop to go over here, and that makes it come back after having reversed the direction. Oh wow, that was quick. Um, yeah, I already counted this. We've got 299. We've also got productivity modules here. I'm carrying 80. Uh, so this is like 80 in each of these chests. Fantastic. That's actually really fast. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. 1.31 per second, and that's not counting uh, this one that's still doing its thing quite slowly. That's actually less than 0.4 per second over here now. So it's not really even significant compared to this. Uh, but yeah, we might just have enough productivity modules to get the job done now. Let's change our requests to all of them, please. And I'll pick these up from here. And once we run out of uh, productivity modules in these chests will go pay that builder visit. D. Shelby, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, let's head on down. And... Uh, passenger present plus inactivity of, let's say, f five minutes. Well, 3,000 is seconds, it's not five minutes. Actually, let's just make it go home after five minutes of me not touching the train. While the bots are very slow, yeah, we need uh, better signs to make them go faster than this, unfortunately. There's a lot of uh, 
My, my one complaint about space exploration is there's a lot of quality of life that's locked behind a lot of research and exploration. You can't really uh, build yourself a decent base to the extent that I would like to on Nalvis and then go exploring. But once this is done, actually, we should have, we might have, we do not have. Okay. Uh, this is our exploration rocket. Um, we're still settling on what we sh Oh, it is actually full. Um, I still haven't completely settled on what I want to take to a new planet. And also, we are requesting too much ammo... And how much have we got here? 160. Are we still going to be requesting anything else after that? Uh, yeah, still trying to settle on exactly what to put in this. I would really like to replace these with flat solar panels, but the production of those has not been going as fast as I would like. Uh, we do have 1,000. What's the maximum? 500 times 20, 10,000. We're a tenth of the way to filling this rocket with flat solar panels. Uh, once that happens, it's going to come automatically back to uh, Nalvis. I think it's to... not this cargo landing pad, this one. I could launch it early, I guess. I would prefer if I don't have to do that. But if we replace all of these stacks of solar panels with flat ones, how many stacks is that? Uh, we've got 2,000 is 40 stacks. And we've currently got 50 stacks. Okay, maybe we should send one of these rockets early. Replace all of the regular solar panels here with flat ones. And we are probably ready to set up on a new planet. I was thinking about going to Mars. Uh, it doesn't have an infinite supply, but it does have iridite, which we need to get the... Um, uh, what are they called? Material science packs going. Once we get material science packs, uh, I think that opens up quite a few research projects for us. Including Jetpack Mark III. I also need Aeroframe Pole. I don't know how to get that. I'm actually having trouble finding a few of them right now, but I'm pretty sure there were quite a few research things. Yeah, here we go. Artillery range. That would definitely be nice. You can only do one more of those with Material Science Pack 1, but it is another 30%. Inventory... Not too excited about Breaking Force, Lab Speed... Worker Robot Cargo Size. What about Worker Robot Speed? That requires Energy Science. Oh, uh, heavy girder. I don't remember what we need that for. Better shields, that's nice. Iridium delivery cannon capsule. Okay. Better thruster suit, not too exciting. Actually, it might have more inventory space, that'd be nice. Uh, inventory size bonus 40, as opposed to 
20. Wow, okay. Yes, please. It has a lot of oil on Mars. On Mars, yes, yes it does. Although I haven't really had trouble with oil here. Um, and I there's a lot of oil patches that I haven't tapped yet. But we could always do that. I should probably turn on ye old performance. There we go. I think we're going to finish this build in one trip. Don't know about this one. But probably by the time we get back, there'll be enough productivity model, uh, modules to finish the job. Uh, is that all? Yes. Okay, so it looks like most of these uh, still need productivity modules. Uh, 200 times 4 is 800. And we've got... I don't know how many of these... We we've already produced over 700 from these machines right here. That is an amount. I see 400 productivity modules in the train station already. So yeah, quite literally, probably by the time we get back there and resupply, come back, we can completely finish this rather ambitious build. And I think I will... I think I will send the thousand flat solar panels back down to Nalvis. Nalvis landing pad. Let me just double check this is the right one before we do. I'm sure I did before, but still. Nalvis landing pad. Fantastic. Alright, flat solar panels. Get on my planet. And then we need to change the requests. Good, that launch actually worked, not like one of our most recent ones. And I need to turn this thing around. Oh, it's actually the right way around this time. Okay. Unfortunately, as far as I know, there's no way to detect what is in an individual cargo wagon. Um, all you can do is read the contents of the train specifically. Uh, let's see, how many of these... How many stacks of solar panels was this again? One that, uh, 2,000 divided by 50 is 40 stacks. 40 times 20 is 800. There we go. So that's going to request the flat solar panels and get rid of the regular ones. And then we'll see where we're going to colonize next. Uh, what have I got here? 150 plus uh, 300. Should I wait a moment? No, let's just take the rest. Might be able to finish that now. And 
while we wait for the train, let's have a browse and see what planet we might go for next. I think there was only one planet where I could get infinite erudite, wasn't there? Oh, I think I have it selected. Yeah, Fornax. I think it's down this way. And it looks like we've already been checking it out. Uh, what's the deal with Fornax? We've got no biters. That helps. A small radius. How small is Mars again? Very, very small. Tullaby is 905, so this is like more than three times the radius of Tullaby. 34.5, oh, 34.3 minute day night cycle. Interesting. Solar is only 52%. That's not great. Uh, we're definitely not going to get enough uranium to power a nuclear plant. I wonder if I shouldn't bother sending the nuclear stuff this time. Yeah, unless there's like a giant patch of uranium... And even so, that would just be temporary. I guess I could... I guess I could eat the uranium for... Well, no, we could always just... I was going to say I could use it to build up excess uh, steam to power an umbrella. Which, come to think of it, I did not put on our new planet. That is the one thing I haven't done there to make it self-sufficient indefinitely. Um, it could have a coronal mass ejection. And I should check, but I think probably it's producing enough power to... How much power are we producing here? Uh, 1.3 gigawatts, 16.6 .6 gigajoules of storage, not counting the steam. And a coronal mass ejection is normally like double that, right? Energy beams. Coronal mass ejection headed for Narvis, 2.28 gigawatt peak power, 182 gigajoules over 120 seconds. It's not going to happen for another day. This one is... It's got plenty of power for itself as it is, but it's woefully inadequate. I could maybe build a steam turbine uh, based energy storage system specific... what? Uh, specifically to deal with that. Might not be the worst idea. I haven't done the math on how much we actually need for that in quite a while. Um, but yeah, we don't have to worry about a CME for literally a day. And that's going to be on Nalvis. So I might procrastinate that just a little bit more. And I think I may have brought enough productivity modules this time. A horizon effect? 
welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. And thank you very much again for the sub. Four months. Much appreciated. Alright, so that is our... Why is it not built anything yet? Did I forget to turn on the requests? Actually, I didn't forget. Um, I didn't actually want this producing until we had the productivity modules here. So now we're going to get a lubricant and steel and small electric motors. Fantastic. What about this one? This is just a pickup. Uh, sulfuric acid drop off is on the sides. And up here we have copper and iron. Yeah, the reason I switch these off while I'm building is even if there's no path to the station and or, for example, there's no inserters here yet, etc. Uh, LTN will schedule a train to come here and it may be waiting for a very long time. I also don't want it um, dropping off resources and starting to build here while I'm still trying to get the productivity modules in place. Alright, let's get rid of some of our Prod3 requests. Oops. Actually, no limit on that one. And I probably should have done this a while ago. Let's recharge. Um, I think I will not bring the nuclear stuff this time. Maybe I will bring the steam turbines because we can set them up as uh, backup power. I remember we did the math on storing power for the coronal mass ejection and we're just way better off making tanks full of 500 degree steam uh, than accumulators. It would require just an obscene number of accumulators to do the, uh, to do the same job there. Um, hey, it came back the right way around again. Fantastic. Okay. So we should have some inventory space available once we get rid of this stuff. I don't know, maybe we should build a nuclear plant just to get rid of the uranium that's going to be there. I don't want to send all of it back to Narvis. Especially because it's going to come in so slowly, I don't really even want to bother with the um, uh, production chain for it. Although that amount of fuel may be a bit excessive. Um... I wanted to see if I could find some uranium on this map as well. It would be a nice uh, bootstrap to uh, to have a nice big juicy uranium mine that we can run off of. Also, I just realized... Um, for a second there, I thought there might be no water on this map. But no, there's plenty of room for a nuclear plant or two. Oh, there's even icy areas. Still not finding any of this alleged uranium. Uh, 
Oh, there it is. What do we got? 1.1 million. That'll do. And it's nice and close to the, uh, uh, the water as well. Okay, fine. Let's keep the, uh, uranium stuff. Do I want to change anything else? Probably not. It seems we're over full though. I would definitely like to prioritize these, uh... What's this? 152. That should go there. I would like to prioritize... I don't know how the stacks got split there, but... This is one of the reasons I use the stack filter inserters to just enter one thing at a time. One type of resource at a time, that is. Keeps this nice and organized for one thing. That doesn't look too good. That doesn't look very good at all. Um, how about Artie pays them a visit? And wait until... Uh, f let's say five minutes of inactivity or empty cargo. I don't know exactly how much range we're going to have. That's pretty good, actually. Still, I might um, wait till the train gets a bit closer to see exactly where it can reach, and I might give it some manual targeting. I would definitely, this might be a good time actually to push this wall forward a bit. We can make the more modern version and it's going to need to be significantly smaller than this one. Here comes Adi. It might be worth uh, making a longer one of these trains as well. Yeah, that's about what I was expecting, actually. I think it's going to work through its hundred rounds all by itself. Actually, this entire wall isn't looking so good. Um, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Let's go help. Let's go help a bit faster. That's a bit odd, because I've definitely noticed, um... Wait, are you leaving already? You definitely didn't go through a hundred shells that quickly. Surely not. Uh, we're gonna need some lasers. Lasers. We're going to need to aggro... Oh my goodness. I didn't realize just... Oh god. Oh, careful, 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 careful. I didn't realize how much uh, that wall was helping us. Because the um, biters do such a poor job of pathing. That cliff down there. Absolute hordes of biters are just stuck on it. But yeah, apparently this one has not been getting resupplied. Um, 
It's only asking for ammo at the moment, but nothing is repaired. We have no construction bots. Hmm. Construction bots are on the menu. Times negative one. Each less than zero. Output each. Okay. Apparently there are construction bots in storage. Um, can we maybe have them not in storage? Why is this a... Uh... Alright, let's do a quick fix. Dark sky full of stars, thank you for the bonk. Major 96, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the follow. Okay, so there should be some construction bots on the way. Uh, I don't know what this logistic bot is doing. It doesn't seem to be carrying anything. Nope. Here we go. Do we have um, repair packs? We have 10 repair packs. How is it we have 10 repair packs, but we're not requesting more repair packs? Repair pack 200 times negative 1, negative 200. Each less than zero output, each input count. It is requesting repair packs. What is this signal coming from? Read logistic network contents. Okay. Request threshold one. Super high priority. Is this reachable? It should be because the other train was able to path down here. Um, I don't understand how this wall... Like, it built itself. This, this supply system should be working. I didn't change it. Each less than or equal to negative 50. So we're only requesting things that the threshold gets to 50. Okay, so that should include repair packs. Yes. Because they're now taking them. Okay, cool. But why are we not seeing a train sent here yet? Is it you? No, you are delivering nuclear fuel. Can you path down here? Not that it should matter. LTN should still be trying to send you. You can. Um, we definitely have... Okay, so you're trying to deliver... Stone wall and repair pack to this one. Why do you not... Why are you not getting your stone walls? Because you're only trying to pick up repair packs. Okay. Wait. Why is it filling with... You're kidding me. 50 repair pack, 50 stone. Did I forget to... I think I know what happened here. Okay. And I did actually uh, switch off the supply station for the small trains over at the main bus base. Um, I think I may have forgotten to do a 
multiply by negative one for the contents of the train. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the train is asking for 50 repair packs. We take that signal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to subtract that there. Each times negative one, output each, and that's going to add T to this, so let's make sure we remove T, because we are reading the stopped train. Over here we're saying if there's no train you can take this stuff out of here and put it in here. Um, we want to get the actual items in the train, that's all. Oh, read train contents. There we go. So now, now we're trying to put in the walls. Unfortunately, I didn't put a system in here to remove items that aren't supposed to be there. Okay. So once you are on your merry way, we should see another small train uh, dispatched to come pick up some other stuff from here. It's ammo. Why are you taking the ammo? Over to this wall. Here comes our small friend now. So now we request ammo. And it should put in exactly 400. Well, maybe not exactly. It could go over a little bit. Uh, 424 ammo. Come to think of it, since I... Oh no, wait, it will put in exactly 424, because this thing sets the stack size. 424. Fantastic. Yeah, so we take the resource that we're trying to put in right now. Uh, each times one output S. That red wire also goes directly to the inserter. That's, d that's uh, the ammo signal. And this green wire is just S for stack size, which is the exact same number as the ammo signal. But because we don't know what we're putting in, we have to convert it to S. Next customer is probably this one. Repair packs and walls going to the north east wall. I suppose we could probably bump this up to a couple of trains. There's plenty of spots around here for a train to be waiting. Shouldn't be too hard on traffic. That'll be this one. And where are you going to go? Oh, I see. Okay, how is our wall looking? It is looking a lot more repaired. Um, I would like to make another train. I was thinking about putting... Um, uh, putting a system attached to the mall for automatically... Uh, building. Have we not produced any artillery? Oh, there we go.
I was thinking of putting a system here for automatically having a spot to deploy new trains, but it's really not that much trouble to give them a bit of fuel. What the? No. What? I didn't, I didn't mess that up, right? Look at this. Mouse is perfectly still. And it faces the wrong way. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, let's just move you forward a little bit. What was that? I think it was a bot falling over. I have spotted um, dropped items on the ground over here before from dead bots. Okay. That should do it. And please head to this station. And what's this other one? Actually, let me just copy the schedule from this one to you. Off you go. And why are we not producing any shells? Probably because the small trains haven't been delivering radars. I think I need to do a little bit more in terms of uh, pickup stations. What? What it? Oh. Oh yeah, that makes sense actually. Okay, this definitely needs to only allow one train at a time. Uh, could you please temporarily get out of the way. And you're probably trying to do the same thing. Yep. Lovely. Um, how about you go down here for a moment instead? Temporary stops are getting a bit confusing. Okay. That should be fine. Now you can leave. And one of you are going to go pick up what you want. Fantastic. Yeah, I don't think there's a way I could signal it so that this can be a normal stop and then this goes into here for a stop. And train limit is greater than one and we don't end up with the train just blocking this. That's something I want to learn how to do how to make the bots place and deploy a train. Uh, I don't think there's a way to like, oh, okay, sure. Um, off we go. Wasn't expecting that, but that's okay. That's good. Especially considering this one isn't picking up any more shells. I wasn't expecting that. But that's fine. Uh, we do have something down here to fuel these trains. But we haven't had a delivery here yet. Oh, because I didn't enable this. Okay. As soon as this train stops, I'm going to turn it to manual. Okay. Uh, I may have forgotten to turn on a request for nuclear fuel over here. That's going to go to the locomotives for our artillery trains. Um, I may have also forgotten to set it up so that we can refuel a small artillery wagon. I could just upgrade this one. That would be an easier path for the moment. Uh, let's go pick up three artillery wagons. Uh, right about here. Three. Hard to explain in text what I want to try. 
Not hard, you just paste it with a ghost print. Um, were you thinking about having, like, a system automatically replace trains or figure out how many trains it needs and add more? Because as far as I know, that's not doable. If it is doable, it requires mods that I haven't heard of. Using LTN, if it says no train available, it auto places a train. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would like to be able to do that as well. Auto scaling to match your network size. LTN is for math nerds. Why only small arty wagons? Because they're quick and often you don't need more than a hundred shells. Why not do a long train? Yeah, this time I am just because it's convenient. Um, but what I... Hmm. Even though they're just using vanilla uh, schedules, what I could have done is set this up with LTN stops which would allow us to read which uh, uh, which stop has a, which section has a locomotive artillery wagon locomotive and deliver fuel or shells to each one based on that um, but that's a task I don't feel like tackling right now and it's much easier to just uh, bring in a bigger train. What is your problem? Can't reach here. Oh, it's signaling. Uh, so this one, that should do it. There we go. Not unless you have super fast trains mod. I do not have super fast trains mod. Also, a small train uh, fits this cute little... Well, I kind of deconstructed most of it. What about this one? A uh, cute little defensive spike we've got here. So there's our nuclear fuel. Uh, why don't I remove your regular fuel? And this one, fantastic, should be some nuclear fuel coming through here now, good. And I believe that is all of these fully fueled, good. All right, you may now resume being automatic. Now the question is, where are our radar towers. I may have just forgotten to um, automate building them up here. Yeah, I th think that's what that is. Let's do radar tower here and limit it to... Uh, honestly, quite a lot. Why not? Radar towers go here. And once we've got a few radar towers, I keep calling them towers, they're actually just radar. If they ever deliver some iron plate here... Wait, this is going to request more than can fit, isn't it? Now, what's the ratio? 8, 4, 4, 20. Um, that's a bit more complicated. I had figured it out over here, for example, um, because of the stack sizes that we need, like... Well, if we want to fill the chest, we ask for 1.6k of each of these, and it'll be a 2 to 1 ratio of stack sizes. Uh, stacks, but um, yeah. What if we just multiply this by something? 
Uh, so a stack of iron plate is five radars. A stack of green circuits is way more than that. Is this actually going to fill it? 3.8k leaves a thousand. Yeah, it's definitely going to overfill it. Uh, let's just drop this down a bit. Actually, those should be one-to-one, -one, shouldn't they? Okay. So we've got a few radars. We should... We should not be seeing this still. That might have been a remnant from when I had this set up to allow two trains earlier. So if you could kindly get out of the way, and then this one can leave, and then you can pick up your ammo and repair packs. What? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Exactly 15 repair packs. 430 ammo. And I just want to double check. I think as soon as this train leaves, um, it'll schedule another train to come here, right? That one's going home. That one's leaving. And give it a few seconds. Uh, yep, there it goes. Is that going to be radar? It is not. I think we need some more stops. I, I think I'll copy this, though, um, and just have the same thing for the pickup back at the main bus base. Maybe we'll add, like, two or three of these. And that'll definitely help with congestion as well. Wait, how many nuclear fuel did I request over here? A train load. Okay. But it, it has to be a train load in this chest. That's going to take a little while. Um, all right. Are we getting yet another? Yeah. Wait, did I make this super high priority? I did not. Okay, let's copy our automatic logistic network loader station and figure out, well, for one thing, I could probably put it here, remove this stuff, but I, I actually don't want it there anymore. It's like a very congested spot. I could even put it super close to the small trains, except then the bots would have to fly further. Uh, why don't we just... If I do some rail coming out from here, we'd have to do that, which is fine, actually. And I think it's going to mess up this signal. Let's get some RoboPorts. Yeah, it does. Okay. If track go this way... We 
will need a chain signal going in and out. Actually, I put it on this side. Chain signal go this way, and I can't... I'm pretty sure there's a signal there, but I can't see it. Yeah, there it is. Okay, that should be fine. Is it okay to do just one of these? No, I think we need some more. How much space do we need to pull that off? Let's do three. Let's place the station first. Wait, is that right? It's kind of hard to tell. That's not right. That's not right. What? Oh, there's like a straight here, but not here. Does it have to be that close together? I mean, not close together. Kinda. Yeah, that's good, actually. Uh, is that a regular train stop? Yeah, it is. Okay, this goes here, and here, and here. Flip that. That goes there. And we need this to come up this way, actually. Is it just... It's just those three robo-ports that are actually touching anything. Alright, so once that charges... We've already got a train coming. Uh, we need to go this way, this way, and this way. Regular signals on this side. And that's already three small trains coming. Hey, Sydney Kinson von Ice-T. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So now we... Why are we asking for coal... Where are you going? Oh. That's... What? What? Request? How? Nope. What? Deadly Pineapple. I don't remember naming the station Deadly Pineapple. What are, what are we doing down here? Okay, so we've got... Red Wire is... Robot Statistics, Logistic Bots, Construction Bots, Read Rope, Logistic Network Contents. Each less than zero output, each input count. So that should just be... I see. We're asking for requester chests, logistic bots, construction bots, and repair packs. Each less than zero output, each input count goes to LTN. We're getting... Logistic network contents plus the total bots. So how on earth is this outputting negative numbers for iron and stone? Uh, how else can I distinguish between what's in the logistic network 
and the stuff that we're requesting. Maybe I could just do each less than negative 50. Because I saw the flickering of like negative numbers was quite small. That's kind of weird. In any case, uh, these ones seem to be working okay. I don't know why we don't have another train or two at these stops. Or, well, we don't request anything until the train is actually here. All of the small trains are in motion now. Does that mean we're actually getting some stuff delivered down here? Apparently not. Where are you off to? North West Wall? You need more trains? Yeah, probably. I don't know to what to what extent I need more small trains and to what extent they've just been bottlenecked for so long that we now need to play catch up. Uh, we've got three of them sitting idle, so... Oh, wait. You're not idle. We've got one of them sitting idle, so that's not anymore. Okay. Now, that's what that's what I was expecting to see quite a bit sooner. Uh, can the trains come directly here? They cannot. Okay. Uh, why not? Because that doesn't actually line up that way. Let's do a little rail surgery here, shall we? Uh, how about we just connect this like so? And that goes there. And I shouldn't have stood on the tracks, although there probably wouldn't have been a train coming here that quickly. Much better. That's going to save a bit of traffic. Where are you going? Hey, just the wall that I was concerned about all that time ago. Fantastic. Let's go pay him a visit. Uh, three shields, one roboport, and we'll swap to lasers when we get there. And then, after we confirm everything's looking good down there... Uh, I would love to know why... Oh, we're waiting for a full train load of... Uh, we're waiting for a full train load of radars before we... Do a pickup there, so that's going to take a minute. Unless it comes from the main bus, which might happen a little bit sooner. Why are we getting. How. How, How are we getting nuclear waste in here? Well, it's not a problem or anything, but I didn't expect stuff to end up in these uh, passive provider chests that we would never have a train a train stop requesting. It's a little bit odd. Okay. It might be about time that I make a, a depot for small trains as well. It's probably about time I deconstruct this and then I can do another rail block here. And this would be probably a really good spot for the small train depot. I think I if, if I build something uh, like this but different but for the small trains, I can probably fit a pretty ludicrous number of small trains in one of these blocks. Like, more than we'll need for a very long time.
That looks a bit concerning. Oh. Yeah, I guess it makes sense that we would end up having... You know what would be good? If we could have active provider chests with filters, like we're only allowed to keep construction bots in here. So that's going to get emptied. Uh, we don't need more construction bots at the moment. So they're going to get taken into the logistic storage system. And then... And then we need another inserter just like this. Okay. How are we doing? defense-wise. Not too bad, it seems like. I would like to get... That's only 11 shells in there. Do I wait for 400 uh, radars up here? Uh, I don't think so. It looks like this needs to be a stack inserter as well. Or maybe even I should have used one of the slots where we could fit two stack inserters. Although in the long run we don't need to produce radars that quickly. Okay. I think we should have one of our long artillery trains pay a visit down here. Let's do this side first. Wait until empty cargo or inactivity. I don't know which train is coming back this way. I'll just jetpack back for now, I think. I want to see this depot build you're on about. Uh, do you mean the one I plan to make, or these ones here? Uh, so basically we've got room for 18 long trains. Uh, the delivery of fuel. Um, rocket fuel is a backup only. We insert nuclear fuel if we have it. Uh, we also have removal of excess items that go back to the trash stop. Uh, so these, we've still only got two of these, but these trains just bring items back to the main bus uh, robo network. Um, that's basically it, but we've got it in a nice layout where we can fit quite a few trains, but also... Uh, Every train parked on this side, as many as nine of them, uh, can leave via this roundabout or this roundabout. And the same goes on the other side. The way we've got this rail network set up with these rail blocks is it's one way on the straight rails, but on the roundabouts you can go either direction. So trains are able to come in and stop here and then leave in the opposite direction if they wish. Makes it very, very easy to have train stops coming off of the roundabout and the uh, crisscross that 
is close to them. Um, it also means trains can obviously go in any direction from uh, when when they go into a roundabout. Why do you have... oh, that makes sense. I thought it was out of fuel for a second there. How is our artillery wagon doing? Pretty well, actually. Down to 70 rounds times three. Um, but yeah, I think it probably should be easier, question mark, to do the same thing, but for small cargo wagons. Um, it depends. I, I don't know if I'll be able to fit that many more. I would love to make a universal version for both cargo wagons and fluid, uh, but fluid, as you can see, to if you have some kind of hiccup where they come back to the station with excess fluid, um, it takes quite a bit of space to filter out which fluid goes to which pipe and brings it all back to a central storage. Can you show us your artillery build? Sure. Uh, so let's see. We've what was that noise? Okay. We've got... Uh, explosives. Four belts worth delivered here. Uh, steel and plastic. I did it a bit differently here as opposed to... Where was it? As opposed to this build where we need plastic and green circuits on half belts. And we've got... Um, you know, we've got the lane balancers and then going into splitters and then merging them like that. Uh, what I And then we need a massive freaking four to eight cut down a bit lane balancer. Uh, what I did down this way instead is something I experimented with when I was doing this build. But what I didn't think to do was to just have two of these. Uh, so we've got the same throughput as a normal output station for each resource, but steel goes on this side, plastic goes on this side, um, and then it's just already merged, and then all we have to do is like a 4 to 4 in this case. Hey, Christoph King, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well, and Merry Christmas to you. Uh, so we've got plastic, steel, and explosives going into uh, the assembly machines for explosive cannon shells. Um, the rate is such that the belts couldn't quite keep up. However, uh, that would produce 47.25 explosive cannon shells. Uh, we're only outputting... I thought we were going to only output it to one belt. Oh yeah, this is a half belt and this is a half belt. So really, this will only do 45 per second. So I don't think we're quite going to need more than 90 per second here. Even if we do, uh, this doesn't quite consume a full belt of explosive cannon shells either. Um, so it's a little bit rough, but I'm pretty sure we're not bottlenecking on belts here. Or if we are, it's very minor. Um, down here we've got a very small train stop to deliver radars, and that goes on the other half of that belt there, and then shells go down this way. Um, we have a balanced loader for all of these chests, and uh, the shells also go over this way. And over here we've just got a uh, delivery of nuclear fuel for the trains. So I'm currently playing with network IDs in LTN. I have three IDs, raw materials, product, and the third for fluid. Uh, 
Mythia. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Go big or go home. Double the trains. Yep. Um, yeah, the... Uh, the network IDs can be very useful. Um, it really hit me how useful and powerful they can be when I was trying to figure out how I could have a storage system in the rail network where we didn't end up with trains just trying to pick up from the output and take it straight back to the input. Uh, turns out all you need to do is set the uh, rail network ID 1 for the input and 2 for the output and you they're on separate rail networks now virtually um, so they won't get a schedule between the two of them. Uh, I was struggling as well to figure out how I would have resources only delivered to this uh, item destruction area as the lowest possible priority and not like delivered straight from a mine for example. Uh, the reason we need to do this is because with core mining or rather breaking down the core fragments in the pulverizers uh, what we get is a set ratio of Iron, copper, coal, stone, etc. Some things we produce more than we use. Uh, and no matter how you go about this, whether you have like a shared belt or if you had a bunch of filter inserters for each resource, no matter how you go about it, you're going to have to deal with this problem in one form or another. You need to have storage for each resource. Otherwise, the entire thing is going to stop. So you can try continuously making more and more res uh, storage for a resource that you're not using. Or you can deliberately destroy items that you quote-unquote overproduce. Uh, so we went for option B there by using cannons aimed at chests. Uh, the cannons themselves get rid of a few resources if they're not aimed at a delivery cannon chest. But it's a lot more effective if you aim it at chests full of resources that you are... This actually has all of the big four in there, that's a bit weird. But the main thing is this doesn't happen until we're full for each resource. Um... You can see here, all of our Omni smelters are completely saturated. In fact... Hello. Full, full, f not quite full. What's going on here? Might have to pay that one a visit. But yeah, I was going to say, in fact, even though we've got so many Omni Smelters, I see all of them are still active, so we might even need more of them. Okay, uh, do I want to... Let's go debug that Omni Smelter first. And after that we might try designing a new um, depot for the small trains. So why are you not setting recipes? It's probably just a wire missing or something. Each greater than zero output each. Uh, let me see if I can remember how this works. These are all the times negative. Okay, so these are all the conditions that if one of these conditions are met, do not smelt X, Y, or Z. All of these go to times negative one, which will remove it from here. Everything is equal to one, output everything. That condition is met if 
it's receiving no signals. Like, apart from what comes from this constant combinator, which is a list of all of the recipes. If there's no vulcanite, don't make recipes with vulcanite. If there's no copper, don't do that. If there's lots of copper plate here, don't do that. I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. Um, red signal is inputs that we've got. Yeah. There's nothing on the green signal. Each greater than zero output one each. This is outputting one of all of these. This one is receiving nothing for an input. We're getting a negative one signal for all of these. So iron plate, we've got greater than 112k, that makes sense. Copper plate, we're not. Why are we not making... Because there's no vulcanite? Except there is vulcanite. Is... Something's not connected right here. No, there... Okay, vulcanite block equal to zero. None of those are outputting. Copper ore? There's no copper ore. That actually makes sense. And there's no stone. Why is there no copper ore or stone over here? So does that mean this is all actually set up correctly and... Copper ore and stone. How is it we are... Sending stone over here... If there's no stone here... Priority 10, priority 10. It thinks there's a train on the way here already. Maybe it's stuck somewhere. Wait, did I forget to fix... Is it this one? No path. I don't think it is. It's this one. It has coal in it for some reason. Okay, let's go pay it a visit. I wonder if... I'm not seeing any inserters sticking out from this variety pickup. That could have caused those problems. But as far as I've seen so far, this is working perfectly. All right, so we got two trains in this general area to fix up. This one, I just need to remove coal that it shouldn't have had before it left the depot. And that one is going to our Omni Smelter. And the reason it doesn't have copper is because train limit one and this stone train has been trying to go back there forever. Uh, as for you, how are you going to leave? Probably just like this. There is a, there's already a signal there. Why doesn't this train think it can oh it's it's you that's it 
Off you go. Actually, you're full of stone. Well, it'll get sorted out. And now we'll get rid of this station. Don't know if I want to touch that power pole. Where does this belt go? It's part of the old base. And it's completely disconnected from anything. All right, cool. I think I'll be here all day if I keep going, tidying up the old base. Uh, so that works. We fixed that train. I don't know how it ended up with a little bit of coal in it. And I think I would next like to make room for the new depot. This is not that full. We could probably just pick it up. Especially since we're so close to the main base. And we're over full. Okay. Let's go drop this off. So I have one for one for one trains for raw materials, one for one for products, and one for one for fluid. I have three IDs, raw materials, then product for the third floor. Yeah, that's that reminds me. I got a little carried away here, but um, what I learned from just having those two rail IDs, uh, which thankfully I did not have to add IDs to all of the other stations. You can keep it as the default is... I think it's negative one, but the point is they are on every uh, network ID. Um, but all I had to do as well to make sure uh, these trains, uh, these stops, where we just destroy items, you didn't get deliveries directly from there to, uh, from the mines to here, is put them on the same uh, train network ID. Whoops. As the storage. Wait, was it the storage? Train network ID one. Maybe I confused myself. Oh yeah, no, that's right. Uh, I guess they can go for directly from the mines to there, which is... Uh, Bad. Oh, but I made them a super low priority. That's right. So the priority on these train stops, they have the same train network ID as the storage system, uh, but the priority is negative 200. So it's literally the last place uh, resources will get taken. I guess the next step I could maybe take is, I don't see a way to do it without um, using circuit network or something. If I check storage, if, if we've got like mostly full copper ore storage, then we stop mining copper ore. We stop picking up copper ore from the mines. Wait, no, I remember now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the mines are on uh, 
the same network ID as the pickup from the storage station. Which will not get delivered straight to... Um, uh, straight to the item destruction area. So the only, if I've got this right, the only resources that get delivered here are excess resources from the pulverizers. We just have to remember to set a train network ID of two on every new mine that we create. I hope I remembered to do that over here. Should probably check on that. I did. Fantastic. What about... I didn't actually do a pickup for this coal yet. I, I wonder if there's a mine out there somewhere that we're delivering directly to... Um, destruction. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a way for me to set it up so that the default will not come here. I would have to set the default to be a specific rail network, which would just cause me to have to remember to set IDs on all other kind, uh, all sorts of other stations as well. All right, let's continue removing the old uh, dual smelting setup, and we'll make room for a new rail block. I could set this up so that we automatically eventually remove all of the items in the chests. Uh, but the trash trains are overworked as it is. A C for cat. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for the rate. How was your stream? Let me just double check this real quick. Good. Sea frayed? Yes, indeed. Good thanks. I've run out of everything. That's not a good thing to run out of. That might be the worst thing to run out of, actually. Hmm, there's a lot of fuel on this belt. Uh, let's get rid of that. Oh, this belt doesn't even... Oh, it's actually fueling the uh, short trains for now. Mostly just iron, copper, and glass. So everything but coal for the basics. Didn't run out of patience. Fair enough. That's an important thing not to run out of. Is that full? Only a bit. Uh, that's too full. And now my bots are upset with me. Let's get rid of this. And this. Uh, I need to remember to update that mole blueprint that I dropped on the Discord because it still has the missing combinator that subtracts what's in the train from what we need to add to it. A hey, evil plot. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Could deliver some loads of everything. T hacks could deliver some loads of everything. That's true. If only I could export some of this stuff. Everything is in space. 
That's true. Speaking of space, did you all see the James Webb telescope got launched? Very exciting. Uh, I believe it is almost 30 days until it will be in the L2. So excited. Definitely. Awesome cat. Rocky, good to see you again. Uh, Thonian, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just started a SE game. When do you core mine and when do you do the normal mining? Um, well, I moved towards core mining, uh, kind of when I realized just how thin the resources were on this planet. Uh, by default, it is a lot, uh, it's a lot more resource scarce than a vanilla game, if you don't change those settings. Um, but... The thing about core mining is it is it gives you diminishing returns and the amount that you can get out of it is bottlenecked on power. So to get to the point where like your whole base can run on it, uh, it's a lot. You're going to need some serious energy production. How much iron have we got here? An amount. Let's just pick it up and do a few trips. I wouldn't build more than three, though. Yeah, it depends uh, where you're up to. I mean, we've got 64 here. I haven't checked lately. Uh, is that core mining drills? Yeah, we are switching the core mining drills on and off a bit, so we're bottlenecking on power. Which means if I removed a few... Oh, is it only happening at night? Yeah, it's only happening at night. Uh, but still, if I removed a few core mining drills, we would actually be getting uh, better efficiency out of them, and probably literally more stuff as well. Or I could just produce more power. How much does each one make at 64? Uh, I, let's check. Only 2.13 per second. Hey, Nyron Wolf, thank you for the host. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Have to balance it prior to core. Supplemented by regular mining. Don't discard resources. <laughs> How dare you. Um, and happens. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. JD plays. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Last time I did a playthrough, I had nine on the main factory. And a lot of prods through every set of the process. Uh, yeah, and the trouble as well with the core mining... Uh, obviously we're power managing this, so it doesn't just consume all of the power in our base. But even while they're switched off, additional mines reduce the uh the speed of your core mining drills if i just place like a hundred core mining drills over here and never power them up uh it's gonna make these ridiculously slow um so it is worth actively adding and removing some until you get pretty close uh to like the maximum that you're going to get out of it for the amount of power you're producing at the time. Uh, Tura, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I should probably make some more room in my inventory if I'm going to be hoovering up all this stuff, but we're almost done anyway. How's that south wall looking? 
It is looking healthy. How about our artillery shell production? Still waiting on that first train load of radars. What are we up to? 1,089, 1,090, so we're halfway there. Although there's only 627 over here at the moment. Uh, Mithy, thank you for the follow. How full are we? Getting there. Maybe I could speed this up a bit just by picking these up directly. Oh yeah, that's a bit full. And I've overdone it again. Forgive me, bots. Okay. What else is happening? Biter attacks. Hashtag bot abuse? I'm sorry. Uh, I still haven't fixed that gate. Oof, that's unfortunate. Why don't we just replace that with walls for now? Yeah, I was thinking about, for a future iteration, to detect the biters, we should have uh, flamethrower fuel storage uh, that's sort of... I might have to I might have to have pumps so that it can't go everywhere else but then okay if it's set up like it is now where the storage tanks could go anywhere uh, the fluid from the storage tanks could go anywhere uh, that's much better for actually getting flamethrower ammo to each of the flamethrower turrets but if we have one-way pumps, I guess we could have one-way pumps and only put so much fluid in there. I don't really like that either. But the point is, I want to set it up so that we can measure what's in the local fluid tank. And when it goes down, assume that there are biters. I really wish I could just check the amount of fluid in a regular pipe. Or just something smaller than a 3x3 three three tank, in any case. Maybe just focus on energy science to upgrade lasers and accept repair packs. Accept repair packs at lower cost? Uh, what do you mean by that? Accept repair packs at lower cost. Why is it taking so long to get this processed fuel out? I should put some purple chests over here so we can just drop things. Repair packs as lower cost compared to time and resources spent on upgrading wall. Oh, I'm not going to upgrade this wall. I was more thinking... Um, the next time I design a new version of it, I'll uh, try to do it that way. If I do it this playthrough, it's going to be like over here. 
or, you know, down here, for example. Might leave the signals there for now. Still not full. There we go. It takes material and time to produce a repair. Oh, less material and time to produce than flame arrow. Um, I don't know about that, especially because uh, the fluids are literally infinite, even without core mining. Like they're infinite in vanilla. Uh, the point is, the point of it is, uh, since I changed this to just have one accumulator for the two laser turrets and two solar panels, and we're detecting biters based on the accumulator charge getting low, um, because we only have one accumulator, the charge gets lower than when we had four, but these three are way too vulnerable. And... Because the charge gets lower from the day-night cycle, uh, we have to set the threshold for when we think we've detected a biter lower. Unfortunately, we seem to be having some issues with that right now, actually. Um, but the point is, why are these getting so low? Oh, probably because, I mean, apart from the day-night cycle, probably overdoing it a bit with the core mining, I guess. Although core mining, uh, I've set it up to stop as soon as we drop below like 95% charge or something like that. Let's see. If that's 80%. So when accumulator charge drops below 80%, we stop core mining and then we don't start until it's full. Hmm. You know, we really don't need, we're not having, we're not struggling on resources at all. So why don't we make sure we have more power? And that might stop this from happening. Uh, I think it only gets like that when it's, like, recovering. So now that this is fully charged, the power switch is off. This won't trigger until it drops below. I think it's, like, 21%. Let's see. 20%. So the accumulator charge has to get all the way down below 20% before we know that there are biters and it's not just the day-night cycle. Um, however, if we were basing our ammo consumption measurement on flamethrower fuel instead, there's no doubt about whether it's the day-night cycle. And as soon as this starts going down, uh, we know that if we have this on its own separate little thing that just feeds like one flamethrower turret, as soon as this is dropping, uh, we know that there's probably biters, which means we can react to the biters a lot quicker. Um, the shutting of the gate will not be delayed. And the only downside is like we're going to have to do something like Let's see, flamethrower turret, tank, uh, pump, just so that it's one way. It's going to be a bit bulky. Or maybe you could put it like here, I guess, and do a little pipe. Although pipes are a lot more vulnerable than the storage tanks. Big is not always better. 
what about it? Earlier in the game, meaning you can then focus on other stuff, which means you can focus a build for repair packs, you can produce repair packs well before flame ammo. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is not this is not an early game uh, wall build by no means. This is for. I mean, the last iteration or two of this I built to stand up to Rampant. Um, so the point of it is it can stand up to pretty much anything. And can we get it all? Almost. Ah, oh, so close. Do we have any... Why is this in my inventory? Oh. Okay. Let's just do this ourselves so it'll be a bit quicker. And then four fragments uh, do not belong in my inventory, actually. Okay, now we should be able to finish uh, tearing up this old track. Unless there's some more stuff over here. I think we'll be able to pick all this up with one more trip. I maybe should have waited for the bots to do their thing there. Trains are a little bit scary. I'm sure this is temporarily going to cause some problems, but it's probably not going to do any more harm than making traffic worse until I finish what I'm doing here. How many personal robo stations do you have installed? Uh, four regular ones. So I think my maximum is 40 bots. Yep. I could just remove the signals first. It's fine. Probably didn't need to remove some of those. What's in here? Not too much stone. All right, that should be more than enough room. And there's some random power poles laying around. Let's get the rocks. Why not? Probably because my inventory is too full. I can somewhat solve this issue by dropping rail.
That's a little bit in the way, but that's fine. I haven't actually been using the um, bow. I haven't actually been using the circuit network wire that I've been connecting everywhere uh, with the rail network on this playthrough. I've been able to sort everything out just with LTN so far. There was uh, a use case where I thought I might use the uh, signal transmitter and receivers, especially the receiver, so that we can detect what's on a, a certain surface. Uh, anywhere in the rail network, I might still use that. But so far, it's just sort of a comfort that I've got the circuit network wire going everywhere already. I seem to be collecting more rocks just as quickly as I'm making more room in my inventory. Um, how about this? That doesn't quite help. There we go. Just makes the power poles look nicer. And if bots place it, it doesn't cost anything. Yeah. Uh, there's also a way, once you have the navigation satellite um, in space exploration, if you, if you use that, you can place wire any way you like. It doesn't cost anything. Let's go get some more rail. And I should probably connect this back up to this rail spaghetti over here before I go and build our new uh, small depot. This one here also deals with fluids, although it only seems to be a couple of types of fluid. Are we done? I should pick up some more rail, perhaps. More than likely. It was bringing me more signals as well. We'll get around to that. I think I've placed most of the signals I'm going to need. Uh, that's bad, but we're not using that yet, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, all right, let's make a chest, put some rail in it for now, pick this stuff up. So this one is both ways, I guess we'll just... This is from back when I didn't understand when it's good to have rail go, go two-way or not. So the start of this playthrough. Just do it like this. And I think that'll be that. Grab some rail.
drop this off down here. And then we can get started. Wait, why is... Do I have a bot? Oh. Yep. Here are my sad bots. Come on. I do wish it wouldn't allocate bots that are on their way back to build tasks. I get why it does it. It's probably an optimization thing. Alright. So... I'm actually not sure where to start with this. Um, that was a surprising amount of uranium. Let's make a straight bit of rail. We can actually do, uh, unlike with the uh, four cargo wagon trains, um, because this train is an odd number with uh, one cargo wagon and two locomotives, we can actually line these up perfectly in both directions. So that's going to be nice. If we need to do that, that is. Take out the cliffs first. Okay. Cliffs go boom. Now, uh, let's name this... Small depot. Is there a world where it's a good idea to uh, stack these up like so? Like, if I have a train parked in the middle here and there's two trains in, there's a train in either direction, and it's unable to leave. Is LTN ever going to schedule this train first to go pick something up? Or because the pathing counts at train stop as like a thousand, is it always going to schedule the one on the outside first? It will schedule the one that's going to be stuck. So, if that's the case, then at best we can do these in pairs. If we can only do these in pairs... I'm not sure if we're gonna... I'm not sure how we're gonna fit a lot here. LTN isn't that clever, unfortunate. How do we fit the maximum number of small trains in one of these depots? More than likely, having a bit of rail like this is still going to be the best way to get on and off. If we do that on both sides... It's really looking like I'm going to wish that we could do it like this. Although we can't fit a corner if we do it like that. Is it enough to just fit double? Like that would be uh, 36 small trains if we just do it like this but have a small train here, a small train here. Of course, then only if there's like two trains parked here, they wouldn't be able to leave in more than one direction. What's going on here? We're requesting 
two train loads of nuclear fuel and two train loads of rocket fuel. And somehow we're over full. Wait, why is there rocket fuel in here? All right, let's pay it a visit. Normally you can fit seven train loads of uh, resources in chests that are lined up next to cargo wagons. Uh, this is 480 times 3 is only 1440. I may have messed up. It should be more than 3... 10 times... whoops. Oh, 1.6k is for a 4 cargo wagon train. Whoops. Yeah, this should only be 10 times this, so 800. Okay, hopefully we won't have too many of these that need to be fixed. First thing we need to do, though, is correct all of the other ones. Or to go... Looks like this one's okay. This one is not. And... That should do it. Uh, Creakly, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Back to small depot for you. Actually, can you please get rid of the rest of your schedule? And there was another one, I believe. For some reason, they're all at the uh, northwest corner, even though this whole thing is, if you rotate it, it's perfectly symmetrical. All right, that should sort that out. There might be a train on the way somewhere like here. Back you go. And don't be surprised if we find another one somewhere. Okay. Oh, I wonder if we've got um, radars delivered here yet. Nope. Have we still got... Oh yeah, they have been. Fantastic. In fact, I think we just caught the very end of the shells being produced here. What are the odds of that? That was literally the last one going onto this uh, sushi belt over here. And both of our artillery wagons are full. So why don't we get them to do some work? First you can go over here, wait for inactivity, and you can probably go over here. Oh, oh and the bots have caught up as well. Fantastic. I kind of wish I could automatically... Well, no, that's not quite right. I was going to say automatically turn off the RoboPorts whenever I jetpack, but... Um, sometimes I want to use both. Yeah, I don't really want to have, like, I, I could have this track and this track, for example, as what the trains directly get on and off, um, but I think I would rather have that out of the way of through traffic. 
So I'm pretty sure we just can't fit, uh, unless we do it something like this. Nope. No, that's, that's actually the smallest, I think. Are those connected? Yeah, that's actually almost as small as that can get. So it's not like we could have the track go up here and then have a bit more space. Um, while we're thinking about this, why don't we empty our inventory and get some more rail? Make it a thousand. In fact, I think I might take a short break back in a couple of minutes. All right, all right. Okay. So how are we gonna fit uh, lots of small stations? Oh my lord. I kinda wanna run the experiment. Um, no. No. Nope. I think I know how it's going to turn out, but I kind of want to run the experiment where we have a train stuck in the middle here. But not at this scale. Can we do better? If we try and do some kind of four-way radial symmetry, I'm worried about what that's going to produce. Sammy Fuse, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated, thank you. Hmm. So, I guess first thing... Oops. Uh, first thing I want to do is make sure this is in the middle. I know how to measure the middle from here. Oh, we definitely need these uh, signals. And over this way. 
Actually, I'll probably end up making that a chain signal. We'll see. But normally what I do is use a train stop to measure from there. And these tiles right here are the middle. Kind of hard to see. Yeah, these two. Let's turn off the Robocop for a second. Copy paste that over here. And that would go there. That looks about right. Okay, so that's the middle. Not going to have train stops there, I'm pretty sure. How close together can we put these? Pretty close, actually. Uh, we're gonna need the refueling and trash pickups as well, but that shouldn't be a problem. I don't know if we're gonna do the same thing on the sides as we did over here. Probably should add signals to that before I... Oh. Why are there chests here? Neatly lined up. Uh, probably should add signals to this before... This is kind of a, ter a terrible ratio, actually. Just the size of the trains that I can't fit anymore, but they don't really take up the space. All right, that goes there. And no, I think it would be better to have the signals down here, unless I want to have extra ones. Okay, copy paste all that, and this is getting a bit yeah, that one doesn't work if I put that there. Okay, let's suppose I don't have this track. That would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but I did nine of them move it this way. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it is just sort of going past. No? Let's just copy this and have a look. If that goes there, these are all off. Wait a sec. If that's the middle... Oh yeah. Yeah, the way I lined it up here was imagining there would be a middle track, which I don't... I'm agnostic about. Uh, it depends which way we can fit more of these. I suppose the middle one would have to be able to exit in whichever direction. Yeah, let's move these over a bit. Okay. 
Move you for now. All of this can move over a bit, except you stay there. You're just there to mark the middle. And we've created a handful of bot jobs. Might give him a hand. Actually fits pretty easily. Okay, uh, we would also need sig. Oh, there might not be room for signals if I do it like this. Kind of hard to see, but yeah, the train stops need to have signals in between them if. We're going to have a train stopped here and a train stopped here. So we're going to have to move all of these up a bit. And same applies to you. Move you down one. And then there's more than enough room. That's the only way to do it symmetrically, I think. Oh wait, this is slightly asymmetrical. There we go. And I think... Okay, this is... This part's not going to be perfectly radially symmetrical because we have to have the signals like so, or like so, uh, but that's okay. I guess we just run it down like this. And over here, that's already fine. Trains can come in this way, they can go out that way. They can only go out that way if they're not stopping. And... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Didn't we fit nine when it was the big trains? This one sort of crosses over that one. That's fine. Wait. Oh, I missed a... It's actually over to the middle. Okay. I probably will have this straight bit of rail. We'll see. Yeah, I doubt I'll do it differently. I mean, there's no real reason to try to cram the supply stuff in anywhere else. Okay. And you go here. And... I need to find a different way to mark the middle if I'm going to have these signals in place. Alright, let's go pick up some more LTN stops. Going to need quite a few for this one. You can place both top and bottom signals for symmetry. Uh, no, it doesn't let you 
have them right next to each other. So if I put these two here, it won't let me place a signal directly next to these ones. And what I need is uh, a signal in between these two stops, which are very close together. So it's just like, well, not that one. Uh, one of my newer stations here. I can either put both of these signals here or I can put them here, but I can't have four of them. All right. Uh, is that going to be enough rail? Wait, are we out of rail? What's happening? We are not out of rail. I forgot to tick this button. Oof, don't scare me like that. Um, can't actually copy and flip rail things if they have signals and train stops. But if I avoid those things... I can do it like this. You shouldn't. It messes a ton up when flipping. Well, it, it, it straight up won't let you flip uh, things with train stops or signals. So no big deal there. My inventory is a bit full, that's okay. And we need to do the same thing with the signals. Um, let's just go ahead and assume that we are going to do this with the rail. So we need signaling to look like this. Pretty sure it's going to be exactly the same. Let's just double check. If I copy all of this and put it up here. Yeah, it's rail signal is in the way. Oh, I think that one is supposed to be a chain signal. Yep. And then, so is that one. Okay. Might be a bit tricky. It's probably not going to be any harder than usual, actually. But I need to get... Well, first of all, let's copy this and put it on the other side. That's good. I've seen large parts of rail networks getting flipped and the player had to redo all the signals afterwards. I mean, of course, you can still give it a go and see what comes out. I can't flip anything with a signal, though. Did it used to let people flip that? There's no reason a train should be coming through here, but I'm still a little scared when I see them coming. I didn't just add any extra rail, did I? No, I think we're good. Where are you going? Yeah, it's using this as an extra lane.
So I guess we're just doing the exact same thing as before, except twice as many trains can fit in here. Uh, I don't see a reason to change this part, except it might not line up. Oh, it does line up with our stations. I guess that makes sense. Although, no, it is a little bit of a fluke, kind of. I wasn't really trying to make it line up like that. So, that's cool. Let's copy... I don't want to have to remove all of this stuff. Uh, actually, no, that should be f fine. Let's just copy this part for now. If I copy the stations, it's going to give the same station name, and we might get some random trains appearing. So let's do that for the moment. And that's going to give fuel. And don't forget to copy this part over here. Is that it? Flip and mirror mod still exist and are better than vanilla because you can flip rails and fluid stuff as you wish, as long as you redo some piping and signaling. Nice. Uh, supple Zombie Kitten. Nice name. Thanks for pointing that out. Maybe the old flip blueprint mod before flipping got vanilla. With them that close together... Will you be able to feed fuel and remove trash? I think so. I mean, they're no more close together than the what we set up with the large trains, and that's just having to remove things for four cargo wagons in the middle. It shouldn't be any more difficult, I think. Right, so this is our trash pickup. There's a bit more than enough room to empty a cargo wagon into one chest. And this one goes here. Wait, why did that... Oh no, that makes sense, yeah. I was going to say, why is that one pointing down? But all of them do. Cool. Um, gonna need a lot more. Well, a few more, actually. Train stops. Did I name the stations? I did. Good. Wait, this one's not lined up the same. How did that happen? How did that happen? Oh, is it just in the wrong spot? No? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh... I never realized you could use picker dollies with train stops. That's awesome. Look at that. So we just move this back here. Or is it back here? And these should... There should not be seven of these chests. Uh, 
this goes here, wire goes here, and we're good. Pretty sure that's the way I set it up last time. Yep. Oh, we're missing a balanced loader, I think. Yep. It won't work if there's more than five types of items, but I'm not too worried about that. Okay. So this is going to go over here. And then we should be able to copy this over here. A so JMO. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, might need to do this. Let's carefully line it up. Not going to need this marking the middle anymore. A Immo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Going to need some more filter inserters. Uh, copy all of this. Down to here. That looks right. And then we just need some more train stops. I think we're almost done, actually. Wait, what is this train stop doing? I don't think that one belongs. Which makes me wonder about how and where I copy-pasted that wrong earlier. It's probably fine. Probably. Oh, there should be... There should be a train stop here as well, I think. Today I learned that if your supply train can leave the station backwards with two wagons, things can go wrong when loading again. Yes, I've got the same issue with uh, this train right here, although it's... Random isn't quite the right word, but you get the idea. Uh, depending on where it goes, when it comes back it may be facing the other way. Um, I can fix it by just doing a temporary stop and sending it here and it'll come back facing the correct direction. But what I should have done is either do a circuit system that's just going to load everything based on the entire train, or I think what's better is probably just to make sure this is symmetrical. Where is this list rocket fuel going? Oh, that makes sense. And you are delivering to... Oh, sure. By all means. Oh, I need some... I really need those filter inserters. Let's go. We'll need a radar as well. I'm only a little disappointed in pretty much copying this design here uh, because it is a pretty good design. I'm just a little, little disappointed that we couldn't fit more than double 
uh, the small trains in here. I'm going to redesign my outpost slash artillery station because I hate randomness. Oh, because of the supply train? Yeah, fair enough. Alright, let's go finish this thing. Uh, we might need to add some uh, constant combinators to these things. Is all of this powered already? Yeah, we haven't uh, we haven't set up the refueling for the middle. locomotives just yet. That's going to be a slight nuisance, but nothing difficult really. I guess we need to copy the limiters as well. I'll start up here just because it's sort of easier to follow. Um, so is that just, it's one tile away. Why don't we just copy it like this? That's tighter than I was expecting. Is there going to be room for substations if I do it this way? I don't think there's going to be room for substations no matter how I do it. Unless I just move these down a little bit. They won't be perfectly lined up with these big poles, but... Oh, that's, a, that's unfortunate. Well, I could literally just... Okay, not that one. I could literally just move all of these in one tile. And that should be enough reach for all of these ones. This Does this stay the same? No, it should be mirrored, right? I mean, this part is the same. Obviously, we'll need to connect those. Oh, I just realized that's... No, oh, that's right. Except... I might just flip that... So it's more consistent with this. That one's not going to get refueled. Wait, did I forget to fix that on some of these? E yes, question mark? Yeah, the outside one here was is never going to get refueled. Um, same on this side. I thought I fixed that on at least one of the... Oh, we're just missing that. Okay. So that goes there. What about this one? It's pretty straightforward.
think I missed getting rid of that extra power pole. No, we're fine. And then this one. The odds of... Actually, if it always returns to the same depot stop, then I guess the odds of it never getting refueled are pretty high, actually. Um, Alright, let's... wait. Was that nuclear fuel on the wrong belt? It was. No, it's rocket fuel on the wrong belt. Uh, it'll sort itself out. Let's go patch all of those. And then we'll base what we do with this, uh, with this build on that update. I need more, I need way more, um, filter inserters, actually. to see that small train uh, pickup working as intended. That means I can get rid of this monstrosity right here. Good riddance. Got our inserters, let's go. Always feels weird when I'm jetpacking and I hear a uh, footstep sound. Steam plants are um, just vibing. Well, nuclear plant, which is a kind of steam plant. I wonder how we're doing emptying out all of this. I actually don't see any bots doing anything here. Hey, it's empty. Let's give them some more work to do. And this is going to be quite a bit of work to do. It's a bunch of this stuff that's just on the ground. Oh, that's right, because the bite is attacked. Um, I'm not just being careful about what I deconstruct here to avoid removing roboports and power. It's also because we can crash the game by trying to deconstruct crafting combinators. All right, that'll do for now, I think. Uh, apparently the construction bots are still napping. Well, we'll leave them to it. Don't forget to patch this uh, depot right here. And now our trains won't run out of fuel. What is a medium pole doing here? Don't tell me I copy-pasted that somewhere. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Back to our depot for small trains. 
Uh, we're definitely going to want this here. So we need to move that one. That's going to be a slight nuisance. Hold on. Why did we have all of these connected by wire again? Negative 30 solid rocket fuel, set filters blacklist, and they read what's in their own chest. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That's obviously not going to reach. Two tiles down. I feel like this is going to look better. Uh, the substation doesn't fit there either. It doesn't reach. If I move it down a tile, it doesn't reach here. I would need to add a big power pole. Uh, what's the neatest way to do this? Maybe move all of them down a bit and add big power pole over here. That seems fine. And big power pole here. And you go here. That's fine. Right, so we need to add a limiter to each of these. Ideally, I think we could just connect like so. And then we need to do... Wait, that doesn't... That's not right. That goes this way. I don't want to have to redistribute that rocket fuel all over again. Alright, double check all of those are connected. Good. And then flip it over here. Connect like so. Looking good. Can I just copy this and flip it? I can. So that green wire should connect everything to constant combinator. Fantastic. So we get about 30 rocket fuel maximum in any one of these chests. Okay, I think it's time to copy all this to the other side. And see if that actually looks right. I've actually... I thought I'd run out of chests for a second there.
that's perfect. This goes here. So you can see it's got the filter to put rocket fuel in until we've got nuclear uh, nuclear fuel in there. And the way we're doing that with one combinator is just nuclear fuel times negative 480. Uh, we could do a larger number, but the point is if there's any nuclear fuel, output a negative uh, solid rocket fuel number that's larger than the amount of solid rocket fuel we could possibly have. Which I guess, since we're enforcing this limit on it, is like 35. Why is this one missing? Is there a, a similar issue on the other side? Yes. Very sneaky. Gotta make sure this reaches the end of the belt, which it does. So rocket fuel should definitely reach the end of this belt. It looks like that is the case. Although I'm not seeing it actually on the belt right now. Which suggests to me that something... Ah, there we go. When I had to place this over here, I thought it would, I thought it was maybe something peculiar to exactly where I copy pasted, but no. All right. So once again, copy this to the other side. It's probably four. Not that. There's probably a couple of underneath these that we need to paste here. Apparently not. And cargo wagon. Hold on. Are we missing some train stops? We are. I think it's literally just the one. So there should be a uh, one, two, three, four times. Why do I keep getting the double? There we go. 18, 36. Not counting the supply stations. There should be 36 stops here. Where are they? 74. Oh, 36 times... Um, one, two, three, four. Seventy six over four is nineteen. I think I'm counting a station I'm not supposed to. Uh This is 36, 18 stops. Eighteen tracks times two, 36 stops, uh, 36 trains, but take an approach from either direction, there's two stops, there's double the number of train stops you'd expect. So there should be, Uh, 36 times 2 is 72. Why is there 74? Uh, 
Where am I putting in extra train stops? And how? Okay, how about this? This is 19. I would expect 18. This is 18. This is 18. And this is 19. Okay. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. That looks a lot less cluttered. Second left top, yep. There we go. So that should be 72 train stops, other than the supply and trash ones. Perfect. Okay. All that's left now is to make sure all of the stops are named and give them the constant combinators. Did we do it like this before? Yeah. With the green wire. Okay. Stop is depot. Now let's turn this off for now. Uh, stop is depot. Wind training length 3. Max train length 3. Actually... If we did have a train that was only a locomotive plus something, this would be fine for it. I don't see us doing that, but I'll just leave that there for now. Limit trains one. I don't think we have to worry about that with a depot. Oh. I... Hmm. Yeah, we're, we're managing that already by just having different names for the stops. Well, I guess it doesn't hurt to be a bit redundant. Depot priority. Yeah, no, I don't think we need this. Uh, so small depot, copy that, and don't forget this side, wait, we can't fit them there consistently. So maybe put those ones on the other side. We can fit them there on this side. Do I want to do that? Uh, I feel like this is more consistent. And then, once more with feeling, copy all of this to the other side, except for that. And they should all be called small depot. And did I turn on the constant combinator? I also need more constant combinators. I did. Okay, cool. Let's go grab those combinators. Uh, should just need to pick up one more stack without messing with my requests. Fueling station? Yes, indeed. Uh, MLD? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This is a depot for the smaller trains that we have. So instead of just fitting uh, one long train on each of these, we can fit 
two small ones. And it may, it may be completely unnecessary, but I set it up so that the trains can approach each stop from either direction. Come to think of it, I'm sure that's unnecessary. We could always remove it later if we see that the trains never go in the long way, which might be the case because, from what I understand, uh, Factorio's train pathing treats a train stop as an extra thousand tiles. All right, so all we need to do now... Oh, they're all busy. Okay. How about we grab ourselves some more trains? How many do I have? Uh, we could do 10 at a time. Or 12 at a time, actually. If I had the inventory space. I think I'll make a blueprint to make this a bit easier. And that's it. Is it not getting fueled? Oh, there's a single one of these missing. A blueprint. Trains only. Funny how it doesn't lock on to the train stops if I do it this way. That should be everything that we were able to carry. Actually, it seems to... Nope, that's right. And now we just activate them. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a way to... set them all to automatic... automatically. And they're off. Can I click on it? Oh my god. There we go. Getting some more rocket fuel. How are we doing on rocket fuel? Uh, we're actually... I wouldn't say we're running out because all of these chests are full. But we're actually getting to the point... Sorry, not rocket fuel, nuclear fuel. Uh, we're actually getting to the point where we only have, like, 8 to 10 chests worth left. Uh, cargo wagons, rather. Do you need small fluid trains as well? Uh, yes, but not so much. Um, also, once I move all of these over... Uh, we've got 8... I think it's 8. Yeah. We've got eight stops for small fluid wagons here as well. Also, apart from refueling uh, the locomotive, these big ones can act as stops for the small ones when it comes to fluid wagons. Uh, so let's copy this one's schedule. And away you go. Wait, they're all on automatic? Oh, they're waiting their turn to leave. Okay. 
I should probably maybe connect this up here. It might make it easier for them to get here. That's the wrong direction. Why? Oh, I have no rail. Oops. Let's go get some more, I guess. Managed to finally fix the drawers on my workbench. Nice. I can't believe how long it's taking these guys to leave the uh, the old depot. Well, let's see if we can give him a hand. Probably because all of this is chain signals. Because we ran into problems with trains stopping. All the more reason we want this old thing mostly decommissioned. I could add a bit of rail over here. Is that going to be, yep, plenty of room for a train to stop over that way. Let's line these up. And I think plenty of room for a train to stop here as well, actually. So the next train that's going from here to here should just go there much more directly. And it won't count as being in this giant intersection. Every single time I've looked over here, I've seen exactly one fluid wagon for a very long time. It makes me wonder where one of them is. Um, maybe it got destroyed, actually. That would make sense. This is the only train that stops at Small Depot now. Yeah, that must be it. Where is that attack coming from? Hard to say. Oh, that's a lot of pollution. Well... Uh, as far as I know, there's no pollution scrubbers in the game. We're actually running out of uranium again. Um, although we are receiving it from the uranium planet. Not as quickly as I would like. I thought I set this station as a high enough priority. that we would keep this uh, mostly empty. I guess we have to get a train load first. Maybe I'll change that. Still, I'm a little surprised at how little uranium we seem to have here. At this rate, we're going to run out of nuclear fuel for the trains if I don't uh, 
scale up the production on... What is it called again? Tullaby. Which we can. Just need to keep adding nuclear plants and coal mining. I could do it remotely, but it'd be easier just to pay it another visit. Why again are we delivering rocks? Oh, it's to the stone storage. Okay. Just not what I expected to see from a small train. Wait, is that the old wall? It is. Uh, you know what? I think we need to get rid of that particular train station. I'll ride this train over there and then... Uh, make some adjustments. That is a lot of clutter on the map with all of these train stop names. I'm going to guess that we will end up removing like half of these train stops because the trains never pass through them. We did need to go to the trouble of putting in all of the extra fuel things, though. So it's literally just train stops, the LTN inputs and outputs, and the constant combinators that we'd be removing. I guess it would be the outside ones. Yeah, the outside ones. So this part is still going to look super cluttered when we look at that part of the map. Oh. I forgot to get out of the train. Let's head back over. Also... I guess it's fine to leave those two... Omni smelters, the old versions running that were never touched by the biters. Oh, there's another train coming here. Uh, which one is it? Not you. It's you. Okay, could you go home, please, and I'll remove this. And... I'm surprised I forgot to remove this stop, considering I deconstructed... Um, almost everything here, actually. There's only power poles, solar, and roboports left. And an artillery turret that got destroyed a long time ago. Um, so, do we have this set up to just bring everything back to the trash stop now? I think we should. I might have to change this. Each greater than zero output, one each. Yeah, yeah, I removed the constant combinator here that says what we're allowed to keep. So we're literally, I think, no, something's not right there. I 
Oh, there it is. What? That? Okay, I'm very confused. Let's stop this. Hey, I am Suck. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Merry Christmas to you as well. Thank you very much again for the sub. Two months. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, so we're literally just reading the logistic network contents and setting requests on this chest because we want to bring everything back. And we could probably... I guess we can leave the solar. Can always move it if it's in the way quite easily. All right, I think I will call the taxi for this one. Don't really feel like flying back. Wait until passenger present. And I suppose if this got full enough, no, no, I probably should remove half of those train stops. I don't think they're doing anything. How is our rocket loading going over here? I think it's done. And we're not trying to put anything else in. I think I did decide to keep the nuclear stuff. So we're probably... I remember needing... Um... What is it called? Centrifuges. That was to go to the nuclear planet and set up cover X and everything. We only actually put down a few of them. Yeah, it's probably better just to handcraft them instead of dedicating a stack to it. Unless we've got an overabundance of something else in here. Mm, like pulverizers. That's a lot of pulverizers. How many did we end up using on Tolibai? Like seven? Twelve. Mm, that's three stacks still, but nowhere near as much as we've already loaded here. So why don't we make room for something else? We can always send more later on. Or craft them. I think they're surprisingly cheap. Uh, pulverizer. 15 pipe, 15 concrete, 15 iron plate, and 15 steel plate. That's not too bad. So that just freed up seven stacks. Uh, we could definitely add a stack of centrifuges. Let's jump in the train. How much is a stack of centrifuges? It's 50. Well, that's more than we're going to need. And what else? Six stacks remain. Hmm. What else did I end up needing more of when I went to Tolibai? Uh... 
I remember being surprised I didn't send any signal transmitters or receivers, but they're not terribly expensive to make. I see 100 already in there or not. Uh, let me check. Uh... Oh. Yeah, I think you were right, because there's 144 now. There's a hundred. Yep, okay. A hundred might be a bit excessive. But I guess that leaves us with even more space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we've removed those from a random spot. What are we going to do with another seven stacks? something valuable. Accumulators we ended up having a bit of a shortage of. I don't know the ratio. Let me check. Uh, 48 to 8. And we've got 800. We need 4,800 accumulators. And that's just for the solar power, if we're going to use all those flat solar panels. Okay, so I guess we're using the rest for accumulators. 7 times 50. Uh, 350. It's not going to be a perfect ratio, but it's fine. I don't think I ended up... Well, the solid rocket fuel I was using for flying around, so I don't want to limit that by too much. Should be back home by now. Yep. Should blueprint this. I'm actually quite happy with this design. Um... Small train depot. And it was 36. Yeah, it was 36 um, small trains that could fit here, right? Drop that into LTN, I think. There we go. I guess I'll be consistent with the naming convention. Thirty six stop LCL. Perfect. All right. Shall we go to the new planet? Actually, I'm sure there's something just waiting for me to notice that it's broken over here, but I actually can't think of anything else that I should be doing on Nalvis for the moment. Although I would really like to um, build a wall down here, but it can wait. Why don't I put you over here until your cargo is empty? Oh, I have to get over here to get inside. Should I change my inventory before I go? I think so. 
Definitely don't need steel furnaces. Anything else? More beacons, perhaps? I think they're in here. They are not. What does it take to make a beacon? Moderate amount of stuff. Alright, let's grab some more beacons then. That's not what I was meant, meaning to click on. Maybe 50. And... I guess I'll carry some more accumulators. I actually don't need any defenses. Whoops. Build the wall, it won't take long. Thinking about starting a new world of Factorio. Uh, it does tend to take a little while, actually, to build this. Because... Not only do we have to take the territory and start building, we have to uh, set up the supply. We, we need to bring rail down here, set up the supply station. Um, and it does take the bots a surprisingly long time, especially when it first, it's first getting started. Um, also, I kind of want to leave the system that we've got with the mall and the main bus base being supplied by these stations. Hello. I was just about to say... Oh, it's requesting. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, uh, I want to leave those running for a little while to make sure that they're actually working smoothly and keeping up. Uh, because you really don't want... Hey, we're finally doing radars again. Or maybe I missed it earlier. We've already built some more of these. Um, yeah, I want to I want to make sure that the small trains are being supplied with the stuff that comes to the walls uh, very consistently and quickly before I try building out here. Um, but yeah, that should be the easiest expansion we've ever done. Out to where the pollution cloud is. Anyway, um, I think we're about ready, almost. I could wait for like 11 more beacons. Are they getting built by just one machine with a really low production limit? Where is it? There it is. What's our limit? 20. Well, there's your problem. Uh, let's just fill the chest. Or almost fill the chest. Leave some room for stuff to come back here. But for now, I'm not going to wait for any more. Let's head on over to... Fornax. Uh, no landing pad, obviously. We've got one in here. And I think we're good. Oh, it's uh, got to add some more rocket fuel now. Okay. Launch trigger. Launch on fuel full. If I do that, I'm going to have to remember to change this later on. Um... 
It's taking a surprisingly long time to fill up with fuel. Where's this fuel coming from? Okay, dokey. Seems to be being produced at a rate of about 24, 25 per second. Um, that might take a little while. Well, I don't suppose we can connect it to fuel somewhere else like here. It is so close to being connected to that already. And then this one just needs to limit it to... Oh, it is limiting it to 1k over here. Okay. How about we allow a bit more than that into this tank? I'm sure there won't be that much if we switch over from a more expensive trip um, that needs to come back into these tanks. I must try this mod, only ever played vanilla. Yeah, this is like vanilla extended quite a bit. It's quite good. That connection won't work. Which one? The pipe? Where is it? Oh, this is true. Cannot reach. Let's adjust this. And this. And put a pipe here. And away we go. That's not a pipe, but someone else delivered it while I wasn't looking. All right, we should be getting fueled a little bit faster now. Or maybe the fluid is still sloshing over here. This is empty. 22, 23 per second, 24 per second. Oh no, it's uh, like 900 per second. Okay. Still taking its sweet time. But I guess the fluid had to get from all the way over here. How much are we talking? Another 10,000? Yeah, we can get it done with the fluid that's already in the system. It's just taking its time getting here. And we are done. Let's go. I'm sure I forgot something. Is it filling other? Uh, no, they're all fully refueled at this point. Ow. Did, did that fragment of the rocket just land on my head? That's a bit rough. Okay. We're a bit far from the center. And for some reason... What? Um... Does anyone know why... A bunch of my construction bots... Are out here... 
flying slowly towards me. With iron plate. Uh, I... I don't... Imagine they were over here and they got teleported because I'm on another surface. Why were they carrying iron plate? I think I know. I think I flew past here and they picked up some of the iron plate that I marked for deconstruction earlier. Let me just do a quick save before I go marking things for deconstruction in this area or it may crash something. Um, yeah, I think they were picking this stuff up and I was over here and they were still creeping back towards me over this way and then it teleported them to this surface just like it teleported me, technically. That's, that's pretty weird. That's nice of them, yeah. Okay. Wait, what are you doing? No, 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 stop, 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 stop. No deconstruct, not yet. Okay. Uh, so where should we begin? I guess uh, dropping the solar panels would be a good start, especially because we've got this wide open area. I should also not... The first thing I should get going is enough solar power to power the anti-media defenses. Why am I gingerly not trying to destroy some cliff? Oh well. Let's grab some flat solar panels. I forgot I brought the regular ones as well. Just because I'm usually carrying them. Just empty my inventory as quickly as I can. Actually, let's get some more robots as well. And I might grab a drink real quick. Energy's getting a bit low already. Oh, I know what I forgot to bring. Lots of cliff explosives. It's probably fine. Bonk. Uh, let me give myself one jetpack. I wonder if I should add more cliff explosives to the requests over here. Uh, what are we bringing lots of? This may be excessive. The thing is, it's not that hard to make cliff explosives, and space is at a premium. I don't want to, like, rationalize after the fact, but I really don't know what I would want to trade that space for at this point. Uh, what I would want to give up that we're already putting in the rocket. Although I definitely should have brought more on my person. A 
singular stack of 100 is going to be useful. Uh, it stacks to 20. Which is not a whole lot. Maybe fewer inserters? Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Um, meanwhile, I would like to keep placing... Why is this one, like, highlighted whenever I open... Oh, this is the only one with, uh... No? Why is this green and... I keep using this one. Oh, because I have to, like, scroll through it like this? Yeah, that's why. Okay. Okay. Still got more of these to place. How do you snap to grid the blueprint? You make a blueprint and you click snap to grid. Uh, for some reason, the default is absolute. Um, I've not seen a lot of, like comparatively, I've seen almost no use cases for this. The only, in fact, literally the only time I've seen this used is when people want a rail uh, system that snaps to, uh, what do you call it? Like the grid, the chunks. But if you go to relative, it means it will snap like by itself. The default is it's going to cover the whole blueprint. And just like what we're doing here, you just hold shift and click and drag. And it's going to make copies that fit together like that. City blocks, yeah. I mean, I use city blocks, but I've never made a blueprint system that fit uh, snaps to the uh, the chunks just yet. You'll always place city blocks next to each other. Relative is probably still better. Yeah, I I don't want to say it's like better or worse, but I've just never had occasion to use... Oh, what did I just pick up? But yeah, it's, um, I would actually recommend using it quite a lot. For example, let's say you're building green circuits. You do it like this. And like this. Let's just pretend it's vanilla. Something like that. And so on. And you get to the point where you're like, okay, I need to do this 10 more times. Just go snap to grid relative, shift click, and you can get rid of that blueprint as soon as you're done with it. It's very easy. Sometimes you'll want to have blueprints with uh, that snap to a grid that have bits like sticking out the side, like for example, uh, this wall. Uh, the part in green is actually what gets repeated, but most of the time it's just going to be, it's just going to cover exactly what the default square is. Ugh, kind of slow. I think I should grab some more Jetpacks and fewer roboports at this point. Um, accumulators. Let's go. Uh, we go. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And uh, Geki Gek, good to see you again. 
welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Blood Sugar. Nice name. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Just42. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. This is a lot of accumulators to place. Actually, come to think of it, we've probably built enough solar now um, that we should be placing uh, the meteor defense. As soon as we drop what's in my inventory, I'll do that. I don't particularly want meteors destroying my lovely flat solar panels. Uh, let's see. This is a chonker. Let's put it down here. I think I brought 12 of them. Which is very much enough to go beyond the point where it's incredibly improbable that any meteors are going to make it to the planet. Kind of looks like the wires on the... Uh, gun itself. I guess we're going to need some medium poles for this. Confusion. That should do it. Let's get the rest of them. Actually, I was going to say let's check how our power is doing. But considering all of these are charging at the same time... And we're only slowly losing a cumul... Uh, we're not losing it that slowly. Um... Okay, maybe I should place some more panels. Let's go hurry it up. If that charge reaches zero, we're going to have problems because uh, the ones that are charging are going to not continue charging. We might just make it. They use, I think, half as much power, if not a quarter when they're not charging. Why not nuclear power? We've got nuclear power as well, it just takes longer to set up. Um, we, I think we did it. Once one of these is not charging, which is going to be a couple of them at the same time, we should see this shoot back up. We're also going to need way more accumulators because the day-night cycle is so much longer. Actually, I'm not sure. Does it affect the ratio? 
It depends on if the night is proportionally longer. All right, so far so good. Accumulators. Actually looks kind of cool. Accumulators. Uh, can I get rid of this stone, please? Let's just put them in some chests. Uh, that's going to take a minute. Maybe not a minute. Okay. Replace some more. There's a solar calculator mod. That sounds like a great idea. So you can't get out of that planet unless you make rocket. Uh, this is correct, yes. Although I have brought a lot of stuff with me to make it a lot easier. In fact, as long as we didn't lose anything uh, particularly important... Um, I should be able to... I, I would have to set up a fuel refinery uh, to convert rocket fuel to, like, cargo rocket uh, liquid fuel. Um, but other than that, and obviously it's going to need power and so on and so forth, but uh, other than that, we've pretty much got everything we need to slap a rocket together very quickly. So, included in what I sent with me is a cargo rocket silo, 20 uh, packed cargo rocket sections, which adds up to 100 to build the actual rocket, uh, a capsule, well no, the capsule comes with us anyway, um, that's over there, so we don't have to pack one of those. Uh, what else? Liquid rocket fuel, as I said, you send solid rocket fuel and then you turn it into liquid uh, when you get there with the fuel refineries. And yeah, that's basically it. I don't know if the cargo rocket silo even consumes any power, actually. Uh, inventory is empty. Grab some more solar. This is quite the big solar field to get started with. It's actually considerably bigger than I realized it would be. Might add a couple more roboports since we're not losing energy. And away go the accumulators. Oops. There we go. The 
Crazy Bacon Hair. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Accumulators. I think we have enough solar power. Oh, is it actually nighttime now? No. We're just adding more accumulators. Should probably make a bit more space in my inventory so I can do more in a single trip. I think we're nearly done though. By the way, planet is biter free? Yes, it is. Uh, the planet is Fornax, and it has zero threat, and it does not have biter meteors like, uh, like our last planet that we visited. So getting the uh, anti-media defenses isn't quite as urgent this time. But still good not to have meteors coming and destroying our, for now, irreplaceable uh, flat solar panels. Which is significantly more efficient than the regular solar panels. Uh, not just in terms of how much power and space they take up, but also... They give us more power for how much cargo space they take up as well. Oops. Robot interference wind? I think it was uh, about 10. Like, same as Nalvis, pretty much. Oh, wait, was that 10 times? 10.65, and Nalvis is 1, is it? Or is it 10? It's 1. So, yeah, we don't particularly want to use logistic bots here. Although I've been treating that as a standard in any case. Although there's an experiment that I should run. Uh, apparently if you have you are then some number of bots on each surface, the wind doesn't get them. It, it doesn't get construction bots, but I mean logistic bots. Why not use logistic bots? What happens? They crash. So if you're going to use them, you're going to have to resupply them. Less than 50 per network. That's not bad, actually. Like, it's enough for small conveniences. Whereas the main... Uh, the main base is going to be mostly belts and or trains. Alright, I think that's all of our solar. Oh, there we go. Let's finish placing it. And I kept forgetting to check if there were more turrets. There are at least one. Two. Three, four, four. Okay, so I didn't actually need this. I don't know why I built that. I knew it was 12 that I was bringing. You can use Logibots for fueling trains. Yeah, seems good.
All right, so as soon as we've placed these, um, we'll drop the rest of the turrets and figure out what comes next. I will be setting up core mining to send back to Nalvis, but um, I get the feeling that we're going to need a bunch of iridite, so definitely going to set up regular mines um, to do that first, or as well in any case. Did I run out of substations? I actually ran out of substations. Um, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Did we bring more substations? I'm sure we did. That's only two. Where are the rest of them? Uh, there we go, 47. Maybe I should bring more than a stack. We can always send another rocket. Uh, where are we missing the substations? Down this way. And it's literally just a couple of them. Okay, yeah, no, I think we're fine just bringing a stack in the rocket. Probably. Let's grab some more media defense installations. Let's make sure we're not missing them. And I think we checked these ones. Ammo goes in here. So each of these has four shots. That's four times twelve plus a hundred and eleven. Hundred and fifty nine. 159 meteors if they never miss, which they do. Pull at 100. I think that is a sufficient amount of time to build a decent base. Um, I could set up nuclear next, but why would I? I've got a massive overabundance of power. I could start by setting up core mining, but that's just going to drain a lot of power real quick. Actually, how much does one core miner use? Uh, 50 megawatts. Jeez. So I could set up two core miners and we'd be getting a bit low. <laughs> really don't know what I want to prioritize right now. Cliff explosives, clearly. Hmm. Maybe I should have designed a version of that mole that didn't use bots, but then that would just, that would be huge. Go nuclear? Yeah, we did bring the nuclear stuff. Uh, it is going to run out though. We need sulfuric acid before we can mine uranium. Uh, that reminds me, I kind of want to scan this entire planet. Oh, it is scanning. Wait, what? Is it? Or can we only scan one planet at a time and we're scanning something else? Yeah, I th think I think we were scanning another planet. I 
I would prioritize cargo cannons. Yeah, and we're definitely going to be using those. Uh, it's a lot easier to automate... Um, than launching entire rockets. And as you can see from Tobolai, uh, Tolobai, it doesn't take that much infrastructure. Well, okay, to be fair, this one is producing uh, like uranium core fragments, and it's able to be self-sufficient on core mining for nuclear power. Uh, but that said, uh, sends a massive solar array. Um, it doesn't take a whole lot to be able to produce uh, what we need for delivery cannon capsules. Yeah, something I need to do in the near future is go back to Tolibai and just scale up. Uh, keep scaling until where, because we get diminishing returns from the coal mining drills, um, keep scaling up until we're not doing any better by adding more nuclear power. Okay. I wonder how... This is like 3,000, right? 3,006 radius. Tolibai is 905. It's literally 905 tiles from the center. Which is obviously quite small for 905. But uh, imagine three times this. Like, maybe half the screen or a little bit less. So, probably we could see the entire planet on one zoomed out map view. I really didn't expect to be this stuck on... Well, you know what? I want to I want to throw down a core miner and look at the fragment. And... That was quick. And throw it in a pulverizer. Let's see how complicated the production chain is going to be here. Iridite. Core fragment iridite. It's going to make... So it looks like this is going to be a lot like the uranium one. Let's just double check the base isn't falling apart. That seems okay. We throw the iridite core fragments in here. And it makes... It makes regular core fragments, plus iridite, plus stone. I'm thinking... In this instance, we just send these directly back to Nalvis. And process them there. Because the only reason that it was good to do any processing... Well, no, we are going to do a bit of processing here, actually. I was going to say the only reason we did it here was so that we could get uranium, so that we could run the nuclear power, so that we could mine. But actually, we also want an infinite supply of the things that create delivery cannon, ca uh, delivery cannon capsules. So we're at least going to have a setup like this. Now I just have to decide where to put it. Uh, how much rail did I bring? Like a thousand? 
I'm gonna have to make more rail, I think. We've got such a nice big open flat area, I would love to make some rail blocks. Maybe start here. There's actually little mines and stuff everywhere though. So maybe not as much. What is that? Six coal. Fantastic. Can't wait to get my hands on that six coal. So it's 9.5 times as big. Uh, sounds about right. So yeah, we are going to have to do some... Some core mining and then processing. Um, how much rail is in a rail block? 1.3k. If I do one of these, I'm going to run out of rail. But on the other hand, look at how neat they are. Now let's just do... Let's just build things like a, a little bit like a new player. I think I've probably brought way more core mining drills than I need, considering considering it's not going to be self-run on nuclear power. I can always send more solar panels over here, except that I believe they're getting... I was going to say I believe they're getting produced quite slowly, but I was not prepared to see none of them. Um... Why do we only have 125 gl Oh. I, I may have forgotten about that minor detail. Yeah, it helps if you don't block items that are getting put onto the sushi belt. Jesus, that's a lot of coal. Wait, what is... Oh, the six coal. Yes. That's... At least four. Alright, so once the glass gets over here, we've got multi-spectral mirrors, we've got flat solar panels, and we've only got uh, 9,999 to go to fill up one of these rockets. Once it does fill up, it'll automatically go to Nalvis. Or I could tell it to come here instead. Okay. So let's grab this and we'll do a little design. There's no fluids coming out of it, which is going to make it easy. Um, in fact, why don't I copy... Oh, hello. Why don't I... Oops, that's the wrong button. Why don't I copy what we did over here? Because I don't think I'm going to come up with a better design for this part. Except, of course, that this is going to look like this. Uh... Let's not bother with the productivity modules until we've got an overabundance of power. Grab some more of those pulverizers. If I can find them. Wait, how many did I send? Like 15. This is 5. Got 5 on me. There we go. Let's go a bit faster, shall we? Okay. So from these, 
Unpowered beacons will not... Okay, sure. Um, I'll just leave that space there for a beacon. Without beacons, this is... Well, actually, no. What about speed? In fact... We've got speed and efficiency in here, don't we? So this is actually 1.45 megawatts. Uh, how much power do we have right now? None at all, because it's night time and we don't have enough accumulators to get through the night. Even though all we're doing is running uh, media defenses. Okay. That's a problem. Let's just run four of them for now. Pretty sure that's not connected to power. Okay, cool. A Sigma Bean. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right. Uh, if we if we do enough efficiencies, we can get away with some productivity. And considering that we're going to power bottleneck on the core fragments themselves, that seems like a good idea. Uh, let's get some power over here just so that a rate calculator can tell us what we've got. Not before those reach 100% though. If I remember correctly, not all planets have the same length day-night cycle, so maybe a solar slash accumulator ratio is off. Yes. Um, for one thing, I don't have enough accumulators to... Uh, to be a, with the normal ratio to keep up with all of these flat solar panels. Um, but also, uh, the planet we are on has a 34.31 minute day. And the power network for the last hour looks like this. Um... Kind of hard to say because we've been building the solar power, but uh, where's production? There we go, flat solar panel. So it looks like if this is our peak, it looks like it takes about six to eight minutes uh, just to reach full power. And there's like three minutes of zero power. Whatever the case, um, it's definitely not enough to run 12 media defense installations for now. Okay, so this is obviously going to be negative 80%. That's only negative 30%. Huh. I was going to put some uh, speed modules in here, but I guess not. Maybe we'll leave it like that. Or maybe one speed. Whatever. We'll figure it out. Anyway, this would be two iridite per second. Well, that's not what I'm actually concerned about here. We're going to be sending the erudite core fragments back directly, but we need to produce enough forever to make sure we produce the actual cannon capsules. Oh, hang on. We're not going to be able to do it while we're here, but I think I remember seeing... Yeah, as soon as we get material science packs going... 
We can make a delivery cannon capsule out of nothing but iridium plate and explosives. That's going to really simplify the production chain to send this stuff back. Although explosives requires coal as well as fluids. So we are going to have to do some breaking down. We are going to do, have to do some pulverizer stuff here regardless. Um, but yeah, it's really going to simplify the production chain for cannon cups, cannon delivery cannon capsules once that's done. Maybe I will... I can't actually cannon... I, I can't like fill a delivery cannon capsule with capsules themselves, but I can certainly send heat shielding, LDS, explosives, and copper. Um, I think these stack to 50, and it does occur to me now that uh, under certain circumstances it would be good to bring them with me, but we can always make some. We're all, we already brought heat shielding, LDS, copper. We can make explosives. That's not too difficult. But yeah, I would really like to rush a um, uh, hundred. We're going to need more than a hundred of these, right? Because... We've already got Iridium processing. Okay, so we need Iridium ingot, Iridium powder, Vulcanite, Iridium power requires anion ion exchange beads. Am I going to have to process this in space? I guess I lied. It does not simplify the production chain if we use Iridium Plate for the delivery cannon capsules on this planet. You can make steel from the scrap, uh, technically, but not much. The scrap gives you random, like, iron, copper, stone, for example. No works on land. Rip. Okay. Well, that just means we're going to have to do our usual... Uh, production chain like we did on uh, Tolibai. And it's going to look a lot like this, but hopefully a lot neater. In fact, I should probably, especially because I've got a lot of flat ground here, um, I should probably figure out like a mostly universal blueprint to do all of this. Uh, but that is going to wrap it up for today. Uh, if you'll bear with me for a little while, I'll see who else is streaming Factorio. Uh, meanwhile, let's check on our wall, I guess. Just looking for something to look at while I find a stream. Okay, let's see what we can find. Iron beads are easy, just need oil. Um, but I'm guessing you can't do it on planet, is that right? Looking a little bit quiet. Uh, let's give this person a try. Alright, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next... Oh, wait, hang on. Uh, it doesn't say German, but I'm guessing the... Yeah, that's, that's, that's German. Okay. <laughs> 
They didn't tag it as German, but G-E-R at the end of the username. Let's see who else is streaming. Maybe Gamer Circle? Let, let's... I think I've rated Gamer Circle before. Let's go... Oh, that's German as well. Okay. How about... Sure, why not? Let's go for Gamer Circle. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Uh, check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're interested. Uh, tomorrow, I'm pretty sure is going to have to be a short stream um, because I have to work. But same, uh, it'll it'll finish at the same time. All right, take care, guys. Bye-bye.